Hi, sir. Good evening, Nima. I'm surprised to see you here. Actually, I came to check on one of my customers. Okay. It's nice to meet you after a long while. Same here. How is your friend, Queen? She's fine. My regards to her when you got home. I sure will. Um, wait. Can I see you again some other time? For near you. Of course, you can. After all, this is my neighborhood. No, not that type of scene. I mean, can I see you privately? I'm a very busy lady, Ima. I don't think there will be any time left for you. I know you are just forming hard to get. I don't mind, Sha. Excuse me. I don't like such statements. Sorry about that. Please let me have your phone number so we can talk on the phone. I have wasted much time already. I have to go now. What about the number I asked for? Let's go out and have some fun, please. Actually, I am a very busy person. I don't have such time for that. Okay, you can talk on the phone then, since you are in a hurry. I just said I can't give you my number. It will be of no use, because I won't go out with you. Are you trying to play hard girl or what? It was not seeing you, Ima. My regards to your friends, Emerson. I will get you, trust me. Whatever. Hi, honey. You are dressed up. Where are you going to this evening? I want to go see Bill. He said he has something to discuss with me. This your visit to Bill's house is just too much now. Every day you are going to see Bill. Come on. You know I don't go there every day. So must you go today? In fact, you're not going today. Please don't start. I've been at home with you since morning. It is not enough, oh. Married couples should be together at all times. I won't be there for long. I promise to come back as soon as I can. I hope you won't stop me when I decide to always leave the house like you do. Will you stay at home provide money for our, for our upkeep? So, we're going to see Bill provide money for our upkeep. Enough of the argument. I promise to come back soon. Endeavor to come back before 6 p.m., please. It's okay, my love. Take good care of yourself for me. Please, leave me, Joe. Go your way, I beg. Don't worry. I'll get something for you on my way back. I love you. Whatever. Guy, man. Boss Emerson. Slave Emmanuel. Why are you calling a slave? But why are you calling boss? But you are my boss now. But you are my slave now. <laughs> you know, get sense. How now? I'm an importer and exporter. Yes, so you can say that again. I import and export for Nigeria. Make a hear what Jerry. Someone cannot praise you in peace again. Jealous is written all over your face. Now you savvy. I saw Risa today. Risa, your crush. Man, bro, that girl fresh die. She looks so beautiful. Mom, Lisa is a beautiful girl, but she is nowhere close to queen beauty. Make her hear, Joe. You are just concerning yourself. I don't want to argue about it, Sha. Please, bro, help me out now. That girl know they even give me face. I really like her. Sha, I'm not the rightful person for you to request this from. I'm not really close to her. I already talked to her because of Queen. Then convince me to talk to her on my behalf. Nothing goes for nothing these days. You have to pay me for that. You, self. I don't help a brother in times of distress. So now you are in distress. Just talk to her first, then I'll reward you. No problem, I will. My love. Welcome, honey. Hope I didn't take too long. You did, but it's okay. I had some company today. Who? Did your mom come around? Nope. My friend Jane came visiting. Oh, Jane. It's been such a long time I saw her. Yeah, she traveled for a business trip. Is that why you look so happy? Yes, now. You have no idea how much I missed her. Okay, I'm happy she distracted you small. Else, you would have roasted me like, like a dry corn. <laughs> You know now, a married man like you should not be staying out late. It's not like I go out to hang out with other women. I don't care. Apart from you going to work, I always want to see you at home all times. And you have forgotten that I am a man. And so? I can't possibly be at home at all times. I am just respecting you. That is why. Whatever. Go in and freshen up while I bring your food. Okay, baby. I'm so hungry. I made something delicious for you. Oh. I can't wait to taste it. Oh, yeah, go now. Yes, mommy.
Hey, babe. You startled me. Sorry, dear. But you weren't sleeping now. I was in deep thoughts. I did not expect anyone to come in. I wonder what you're always thinking about. Maybe you have a wife and children somewhere. Don't be ridiculous. I'm not married, which you know. Now you sabi. Wait, oh, I thought you said you would not come today. So now that you have seen me, are you not happy? You know I don't like it when people surprise me this way. So now I can't come to my fiance's house when I like. No, you can't. For God's sake, we are not married yet. And so, now you are making me regret why I came here in the first place. Don't say that, my love. All I'm saying is that you should not come to my house without informing me. Whatever. So what about Risa? Since when did you start asking of my friend? I'm asking on behalf of Ima. Ima came here? Yes, he did, and told me about having feelings for Risa. Okay, good for him. Which one is good for him again? I'm saying this so you can help me talk to her. Well, I really like Ima for Risa, so I will persuade her. That is nice. But one thing I won't tolerate from him is if he tries to take advantage of her. Don't you know Ima? He's not that kind of person now. Okay, oh. Talking to her is not a problem, Sha. He should treat the girl well. That one is my own. Let me get you something chill. Sweet mom. Oh, Joseph, my son, welcome. Thank you, mom. How are you doing? I am not fine at all. Living in this house is not easy for me. Come on, mom. There are so many other people living in this compound. That is not the point. The point is that I have to do everything all by myself, which is not easy. Since there are other people here, I believe there are young boys or girls you can call for errands. I've been calling people's children to help me out. I'm tired of doing that. So, mom, this is your complaint now. I believe you want me to do something for you. I need a maid, Joseph. At least someone that can take this loneliness away. It's okay, mom. I understand. We also need a maid. So I will go in search of a maid. You need a maid for what? What about your wife? My wife is also tired of doing the house chores alone. So she needs a helping hand. Are you out of your mind? Monica is a young, vibrant lady. Unlike an old woman like me. So she cannot take care of you and herself? Mom, that house is very big for one person to clean alone. Now I see why both do not have child. Mom, please, can you not bring my childlessness into this? Why won't I bring it? If she cannot take care of you alone and herself, how then will you take care of her children? This chapter should be closed. Sorry I brought it up. What is my business, Seth? If she likes, let her give birth. I'm hungry. Did you cook anything? Didn't she cook for you? Oh my God, Mom. Stop reading meaning in everything I see. I cooked. Let's go to the kitchen. Okay. Why did you come back? You for not come back. Madam, you look beautiful this afternoon. Even try to cover up what you did before you left. <laughs> Are you not my mother again? God forbid for me to give birth to such a stubborn child like you. Look at this one. You're not even happy I want you to give birth to my kind. That would be serious trouble in the house. At least my personality is better than your own. Whatever. I want to go see Ima tomorrow. Do you mind going with me? You should know my answer now. Babe, come on. We are just going there to have some fun. Madam, I am not coming. He invited you to his house and not me, so I can't come. Would you believe if I tell you that he invited me so I could go there with you? That one is his business. This guy loves you, Risa. Why not give him a chance? Was that what he told you? Yes. He persuaded me to come talk to you on his behalf. Sincerely speaking, he is madly in love with you. So now he is not bold enough to express his feelings for you. If that is not what you want, then there is a problem. Make sure you don't tell him I said so. Allow him to do it himself. Yes, ma.
Okay, bye for now. You slept for such a long time. I was really tired. Yeah, I'm still feeling sleepy safe. Who woke you up? Go in and sleep now. I'm going to give me sleep again. I knew that sooner or later you will wake up. So you mean there is nothing in this house to eat? There is nothing at all. I have been sitting here since thinking of what we will do. Man, things are just getting hard day by day. I swear, if I just see a job that would pay even if it's 10k, I will not hesitate to do it. Haba, Haba now, 10k is too small. 10k cannot even sustain me for two weeks. Is it not better than staying this way? As for me, I am looking for where they would hire me as a maid, so accommodation and feeding would not be my problem. You are right, oh. Even as a nanny self, that would be great. I will go and meet my mom's junior sister later this evening. Maybe she will have something to give me. You were really lucky. At least you have someone to run to when you need help. Whatever I get from her is for the both of us. Should I come with you? There will be no need for that. She won't be happy seeing you there. Okay then, I will just wait here for you. Okay sis. Welcome, honey. Thank you. Where did you go to? I was in our neighbor's house. You are always in our neighbor's house. Can't you be in this house for once? Do you think it is easy to stay in this lonely house alone? I don't like it, seriously. You are a married woman. You shouldn't be going around to people's house looking for who to gossip with. But a married man like you is allowed to go to Bill's house and other people's houses, Abby. Have you ever seen me go to any of our neighbor's house? I would never do that. I only greet them and pass. So, you expect me to do the same? Mingling too much, you attract some unwanted insults to yourself. I have heard you. How is your mom? She is fine. She sent her regards. My regards to her too. I miss her though. She was even complaining of feeling lonely and requires a maid. Ah, getting a maid is very difficult though. No parent would let their child work as a maid anymore for fear of maltreating the child. You know mama now. She's not the type that would maltreat someone's child. I know, but the parents of the child won't think the same way. You are right, Sha. But in case you see one, you let me know, because I need a maid too. Madam Queen. Emerson, when will you ever be at home? You are not even happy I kept the door open. Well done. One day you tell me where you are always leaving the house to. You see this girl, you are just acting as if you own me. You are my fiancé, Emerson. So you are answerable to me. I told you the reason why I ended my last relationship, Abby. Can you enlighten me? I ended the last relationship with her because she was too controlling. So what has that got to do with me? I need to be controlled, Queen. I need to be told what to do. I am not controlling you. I am just telling you things you should not do since we are married. And so? Because you get married, I'm not allowed to do what I want. Then if you want to do what you want, then it's better for you to remain single. Really? Yes, now. Because I won't tolerate some kind of barbaric lifestyle for my husband. Which one is barbaric again? Did you see me here with a woman? That is not the only thing that can cause misunderstandings with married couples. This is hilarious. Maybe you should enlighten me too. I have nothing to explain to you. Just know that if you want to marry me, you will have to adjust from some certain bad lifestyle. Oh, queen of the universe. Is this funny to you? Did I say it's funny? You are just getting paranoid for nothing. Now you sabi. Please, I need some money to go fix my hair. I don't have money. Welcome, Bill. Thank you, Monica. I have been here for long for Joseph. Sorry about that. I had to fix some things inside. No problem. I am still waiting for Joseph. Is there a problem? Are you both going somewhere? Yes. We want to go and watch a football match. Well, Joseph is not available at the moment. He is. We were here together. He told me he wants to change up so we could go. I said he is not available at the moment. He will come next time. But why now? I drove all the way here. I can't go back just like that. Why? Do you need money for compensation? Did you just insult me? If it is not money you want, then be going now. Just save you watch football next time. I can't believe this. You can't believe what? The fact that he wants to spend time with his wife? This is not fair. He is a man. Allow him to free himself. Excuse me? Did you just blame me for him not being able to come? Who else will I blame? I mean, few minutes ago, 
Joseph told me he wanted to change up for us to go watch football. Only for you to come out here to say something else. Oh, you kill yourself now. Nah. If Joseph does not go today, you cannot watch football, Abby. You are my best friend's wife, so I won't exchange words with you. Just go and beg. He will come next time. Help me tell him he has tried. <laughs> Good evening, sir. Good evening to you. Can I help you? Um, yes, sir. Okay, I'm listening. Um, please, sir. You are the owner of that car park at that entrance. Yes, that is my car. Is that a problem? Yes, sir. There's a little problem. I was robbed this afternoon. Oh, sorry about that. I hope they didn't hurt you. Yes, they did. They dealt with me first before taking my phone and handbag. Sorry about that, but you don't look hot. That is not the point. The point is that they took my phone and handbag. I can't call my family for help. So how can I help you now? Can you please take me home with your car? No, I can't do that. Actually, I'm waiting for someone. I can also wait till the person comes. Please help me. There is no other means of going home. Sorry, I can't take you along. Are you with your ATM card? Yes, I am. Okay, I will transfer 10,000 Naira to you. All you have to do is look for a nearest bank to withdraw. Oh, thank you very much, sir. God bless you for me. It's nothing. Thank you very much, sir, for your kindness. May God bless you. It's nothing. God does want to use me and bless you. Thank you. Your phone is so beautiful. Can I see it? Of course you can. Hey, my phone. Somebody help me. My main G. If you know what is good for you, you better leave my house now. Come on now. It hasn't gotten to that. Who told you to sit down? Don't tell me you are still angry over that little issue. Did you just call it a little issue? Oh yeah, sorry. Over that big issue. You had the mind to invite me to your house so your wife could embarrass me. No bro. Don't say that. You know I would never do a thing like that. How then can you explain what happened? I went inside to change up. She saw me getting busy and she left. Next thing I heard was she telling you that I was not available. I tried opening the door, but it was locked from outside. I felt so stupid that day, and the worst part was that you called me to that place. Sorry bro, I know how you feel right now, but just know it was not my fault, no vex. But how could your wife be the one controlling the house? She's not controlling the house. If she hasn't locked me inside, there was nothing she would say that would make me stay back from following you. Seriously, this your wife's attitude is getting out of hand. And I believe she gave you the exact time you should be home today. Don't be ridiculous. She doesn't do that always. That was not funny at all. I don't know how to take my mind off it. Billy, my man, I know you want me to buy you a drink. Before, Uncle, you messed up big time. You know money is not my problem. I have it in essence. I know you now. That is why your wife thinks she can do whatever she likes. Enough about my wife. Let's go get some bottles. Sure. Welcome, honey. Thank you, dear. How was your outing? I hope you had fun. Yes, I did. I'm glad to hear that. What is this smell? What smell are you talking about? Are you not perceiving it? No, I'm not. You just came in, so it is normal for you to start perceiving things. It smells like something died in here, like a rat or something. Ah, Joseph, what would a rat be doing in a mansion as beautiful as this? When was the last time you swept this house? That is the reason why I need a maid now. Answer my question, Monica. When last did you sweep this house? I can't remember. I think it should be the Saturday that just passed. That is almost like a week now. Tell me how a rat will not find solace in our so-called mansion. You don't have to shout now. This house is too big to sweep alone. Only God knows the last time you washed the dishes. Don't worry about that. Maybe I will just take it to the dry cleaner. Chai God, what kind of problem is this? I don't even know why you are complaining, Seth. After all, I still cook for you. You are exactly what I ordered versus what I got. I won't stand here and listen to your insults. It is better I leave the house for you. Mama, you are here. Monica, where are you coming from by this time of the night? 
You didn't even inform us you would be coming over. Do I have to take permission from you before coming to see my son? No, now I didn't say that. But I would have prepared something delicious for you to eat. With those dishes in the kitchen, Abby? Mama, don't mind those plates. They are usually dirty like that, but I will clean them first thing tomorrow morning. I asked the question, where are you coming from by this time of the night? I went for shopping with my friend and I am glad I did because I found some designer bag I saw online. I searched for it everywhere, but I... Will you shut up your mouth? You're not even ashamed of yourself. Come on, Mama. What is there to be ashamed of? Is shopping a crime? Just look at the time you came back. A married woman like you. Mama, you are taking this life too serious. Don't you like how good looking I am? It is from all the shopping I have been doing now. That is why Joseph has not been able to cheat on me. Try, Joseph. See what you have gotten yourself into. Speaking of Joseph, where is he? I would like him to take my shopping bags from the car. I don't have your time this night. So you are here, Emerson. What is it? I have been knocking since without a response from you. Didn't you see the door was open for you to walk in? How was I supposed to see when the door was closed? Oh, so why are you now blaming me? A simple come in would have stopped the whole thing. Next time, turn the handle to see if the door is open or not and stop expecting me to tell you to come in. If I walk in without knocking, you would say I'm rude. Why are you here? What kind of question is that? I just asked the question, why are you here? I came to see you, of course. Are you not happy to see me? You come here every day and still expect me to be happy to see you. Why are you talking to me like this, Emerson? Your problem is that you complain too much. Allow me to breathe more, how about? Am I forcing myself on you? I didn't say that, but you coming every day is alarming. But we are engaged. And so? Does it mean you should suffocate me? It's okay. I won't bother you anymore. New day, new complaint. I beg, free me. Oh, you are here. I was searching for you all over. I've been here since. What's up? Nothing much. I just woke up safe. I have a slight headache. Sorry, dear. Maybe you should go take some paracetamol. I will. Um, I saw a phone on your dressing mirror. A phone? Yes, a phone and it's not mine. Neither is it yours. Oh, that must be my cousin's phone. He gave it to me to sell it for him. Your cousin? But you said you don't have any relative here. Actually, he came from the village yesterday while you were away. Oh, but you should have told him to wait till I return. I have not met any of your relatives before. Don't worry, you will see them soon. Have you seen a buyer yet? No, I haven't. I want to take it to where they will sell secondhand phone. If you give it to me, I have someone that would buy it in higher amount. No, don't bother. I don't want to involve you in this. Okay, oh, if you say so. Are you hungry? I still have some money left from the 10,000 naira. That's nice. That shows we have not been eating much. It is well. Good morning, my love. I hope you slept well. Yes, I did. What time did you come back yesterday? I slept off. It doesn't matter. I didn't come back late. You woke up quite early today, which is so unlike you. Joseph, why didn't you tell me your mother would be coming over? I'm sorry, my love. It skipped my mind. She only called to tell me in, in the morning. Why won't you forget? I know you purposely didn't tell me so I could make a fool out of myself. Come on, honey. You know I would never do that. I am not happy about this arrangement at all. So is she the reason why you woke up early today? Just leave me alone. <laughs> now I see why you hate when my mom comes around. So you think this is funny? Sorry about that. Besides, what do you use 2 million naira for yesterday? Didn't you see the bags I came back with? I went for shopping, of course. Can you stop spending the money in millions? It will soon finish you. It will never finish, as long as you keep working hard. Okay, I have told you my own. Once you are done spending the money in that account, I will close it down. I won't put the dime there again. I have to go back to the kitchen. I'm not yet done. <laughs> Good afternoon, Jane. Oh, Linda. I thought you were joking when you said you would come over. No, I wasn't. It's been a while I came here now. Welcome, dear. What can I get for you? I am okay. I don't need anything. So what brought you here today? You know why I'm here. No. You promised to get me a job soon, but I didn't hear anything from you. Sorry, dear. I actually searched for a job for you, but the pay is not good enough. I can manage now. At least something to pay part of my bills. No, dear. 
I wouldn't want you to do such work. Hmm. Okay. Please keep on searching. I believe you will find something better. Alright, so how have you been? Can you help me with some money, please? I know you now. You must ask for money. It is not my fault. It is the country. Don't worry. I will get you a job soon so you can get off my neck. Ah, Auntie Jane, don't tell me you are tired already. Before Uncle, do you think I have nothing to do with money? Don't worry. This will be the last time. Have you eaten? Can I get you something to eat? Wow, this is my first time of knowing that you cooked. I am a working class lady now. Working class like me don't cook. Okay, oh, madam. I'm waiting for the food share. Ha <laughs> I am coming. My sunshine. Oh, finally you are back. Did I go for long? Yes, now. I was beginning to think you won't come back. Of course not. I can't abandon my baby like that now. So how did you succeed in what you went for? Yes, baby. Everything went well. I'm glad to hear that. You look so beautiful this afternoon. I'm not surprised. You have always been saying it. I feel so lucky to have you. Thank you for giving me a chance in your life. You know I feel the same way about you too. I love you so much. I love you too. I got you a gift. Would you like to see it? A gift? What is the occasion? Do I have to give you a gift occasionally? You have gotten me so much gifts already. I won't accept anything from you again. If I don't spend my money on you, who else will I do that for? Ah. Are you ready to see your gifts now? Can you bring it here? No. It is outside. It cannot be brought inside. Outside? Is it that big? You'll find that when we go outside. Okay, let's go. I'm anxious to see what it is. Okay, baby. Monica, are you still here? Mama, are you not tired already? Third from what? Doing house chores? Now, wow. Get up, we'll have to clean the whole mess you made. <laughs> Mama, me, I'm tired now. Eh, I've been cleaning the house since morning. Monica, why are you so lazy? Is this what will happen when you eventually have a child? There we go again. How can a married woman like you keep so many dirty dishes without washing them? This is why I need a maid. I say this all the time, but your son would not give me a listening ear. What do you need a maid for? What is wrong with your hands that you can't use it in cleaning your house? I just need manicure on my hands a few days ago. I spent thousands of naira in doing it. And you expect me to use these same hands in cleaning the house? Shut up your mouth! I wonder what you were thought when you were little. I have tried my best since morning. I cleaned almost all the rooms, yet you're not still satisfied. I warned Joseph about you, but he didn't listen. He wanted to marry fashion and look at what he has gotten himself into. He hasn't gotten himself into anything, Mama. I take care of my husband very well. With those dirty dishes in the kitchen, Abby? Just go. I will join you later. Let me rest more. I don't want to come back and see you here, Monica. Come so you can finish early and go to the market. Oh, what kind of problem is this now? Why can't this woman just go back to where she came from? I'm just tired of this house chores. Good evening, Emerson. I missed your call. So why didn't you pick up? I was still sleeping. I thought you were ignoring me. What are you doing here this early morning? I couldn't sleep at night, so I decided to come this early. Why? And what has that got to do with me? I was thinking about you all through the night. The fact that you didn't call me for once to check on me. I've been busy. Just that. Is that not a good reason? You never complained of being busy when we started this relationship. So why now? So do you expect things to still be the same after two years? But it shouldn't be to the point of staying for almost a week without hearing from me. Do you know your problem? You nag too much. That is all you have to say to me. Madam, it is too early for this. As you can see, I just woke up. Are you angry with me? If yes, then I'm sorry. I'm not angry with you. You have to understand things shouldn't always be about you. You don't expect me to call you 10 times in a day so you will know I love you. I understand. I just need your assurance that I'm not in this alone. No, you are not. Thank you. I love you. Same here. Madam, are you done cleaning so fast? I am not done. I was about cleaning and I want to take a rest first. My room. No, don't worry. I'll clean it myself. Since when did you start rejecting the offer of me cleaning for you? 
I don't just want to stress yourself the more. Take a rest. I will claim it from there. I saw so many phones in your bag. About three of them. What were you looking for in my bag? Your clothes were not well arranged, so I wanted to help you out. Linda, how many times have I warned you to stop entering my room without my permission? That's my question, Felicia. I have noticed that you are always coming back with different phones every day, and you don't lack money. It is none of your business. Focus on what concerns you. This concerns me. Where do you take those phones from? Are you happy about the fact that we don't lack what to eat? I am. I just want to be on the safe side. You are on the safe side. Those phones you see there are the phones my cousins brought for me yesterday. He wants me to help him sell them, just like the last time. Did you ask him where he got the phones from? Stop asking questions, Linda. The information should be enough. Hmm. You just have to be cold. I don't want you to land yourself in trouble because of your cousin. I will not. Who knows? Maybe the phones are stolen phones. That is why he brought them to you to sell. You worry too much. I trust my cousin. He can't steal. Okay, if you say so. Let me go and continue the cleaning. Clean somewhere else while I clean my room alone. Hello, Monica. Oh, Mama, what a pleasant surprise to see your call. How are you and my son doing? Mama, I know you didn't call to ask how I am doing. You this man, let's care. You are always running your mouth. Sorry, Ma. I was just concerned so you don't burn your airtime. Allow me to burn the airtime. Okay, Ma. I am fine and Joseph is fine too. I hope your bags are ready. Ready for what? Didn't Joseph tell that I said you should come and stay with me for some time? Ah, no. Joseph did not tell me. Oh. Okay, now that you know, can you start coming? This house is too lonely for me to stay alone. Mama, no now. If I come, who will be taking care of my husband? Which husband have you been taking care of? Is it the one you don't cook for? I cook for my husband every day. It is only the plates I don't wash. Monica, start coming. I need someone to talk to for a while. Mama, I cannot come home. What if I find someone to come stay there with him? That was the option I gave your husband, but it is obvious he has not found someone yet. Don't worry. I will find someone for you. You better do that or you will come here. Okay, ma. Mama, I'm missing you already. Oh. I better carry your trouble and go. Hmm, my sweet mother-in-law. I couldn't have asked for more. You are the best mother-in-law ever. Bye-bye, <laughs> Joe. Don't flatter me. Okay, ma. Take good care of yourself. Okay, and you too. Felicia, you didn't hear me call you since. Okay, you heard when I shouted your name, but you chose to ignore me. Can we not do this now? I'm really not in a good mood. I put 5,000 naira yesterday night before going to bed, but now I can't find it. So what has that got to do with me? What kind of a question is that? We live together in this house, don't we? And so? Wait, are you insinuating I took your money? I am not. I am only asking. Why would you ask? You know I don't take money. How then did it disappear from my purse? Go back and search for your money and stop looking for who to accuse. That was the only money I had. I wanted to use it to get food stuffs for us. Linda, go and search for your money. That was how my money got lost last week. Your money got lost and you didn't say a word about it. Because I knew you were not the one that took it. I think there is an evil spirit in this house that takes people's money. Is this funny to you? How come my money is missing? Meanwhile, it is just the both of us here. I won't sit here and let you accuse me wrongly. Sweetheart. Welcome, dear. I have been waiting for so long. I'm sorry about that. I had some pressing issues at my workplace, so I had to wait and sort it out. I hope it has been sorted out now. Yes, it has. Sorry for the delay. No, dear. You don't have to apologize. I totally understand. You didn't go for your business today. No, I didn't. My staffs will handle it. Everything is in control. That's nice. I was with Emerson all through. I just wanted to spend some time with him. Oh, Emerson. It's been such a long time I saw him. He's fine. He sent his regards. My regards to him too. Babe, you said you have something important to discuss with me. Yes, I do. But it has to wait for now. Why? I mean that was the reason why I rushed down here. I'm sorry, dear. I thought about it again and realized I was rushing too much. Can you just give me a hint of what it is? 
it is not necessary you will know when the time comes okay if you say so i will respect your decision you look so beautiful today as always thank you dear you don't look bad too i cooked for you oh thank you baby let me get it go and wait for me at the dining hall okay baby Babe, she be you swore never to come visit me again, Abby. No, na. It is not like that. Work has just been hectic. I know, na. You are always using work as an excuse. You are not working, so you won't know how stressful it is. I am a big man's wife, oh, so working is just out of it. You see what I am talking about? You are a big man's wife. Why am a single broke lady trying to work hard to put food on the her table? I hear you. So what's up now? How have you been? I have been doing fine, my dear friend. I am so happy you came to check on me today. Next time, it will be your turn to come and check on me. Yes, ma. I will definitely come. But make sure you cook my favorite meal. You know that is not a problem. You should just pray I don't fix my nails by that time. Else, I wouldn't even go near the kitchen. So what will your husband eat if you don't cook? We usually eat out whenever I fix my nails. Really? Yes, so that is even the main reason why I am looking for a maid. You are looking for a maid? Yes, my dear. Not just me. Even my mother-in-law. That one needs someone to talk to in the house. I can recommend someone to you. Oh, I would be so happy if you do that. I even posted it at the post office. I recommend my niece to you. She is a very nice girl. You will like her. Trust me. That is wonderful. Anybody I find now will be for my mother-in-law first. She can fill in the gap as long as the pay is attractive, Sha. Trust me now. Money is not our problem, so the pay will be very attractive. Alright then. I will inform her as soon as possible. Okay, thank you, dear. Everything okay. Yes. Everything is fine. Don't mind my expression. Come on, sis. You know you can tell me anything. I've been observing you for a while now. You don't look happy. No, I am not happy. I feel so sad. Talk to me, please. Maybe I can be of help. Emerson has been treating me badly. He has been so cold to me for the past few days now. Why? Did you do anything wrong to him? No, no, I can remember. I already apologized to him, but it's just getting worse by the day. I think you offended him because the Emerson I know cannot treat you that way. He loves you. I no longer feel the love. I feel like I'm alone in the relationship. Is that why you have been acting all sad? I guess you don't know how it feels like to lose something you love so much. And who said you have lost him? That is what it seems like to me. I would never let that happen. You both helped me find the love of my life. So I won't sit and watch you both separate. I don't know what to do anymore. I have begged him, but nothing has changed. Don't worry, dear. I will go talk to him myself. Maybe you have offended him without knowing. You will do that for me? Yes, dearie. I will do that for you. I like seeing you happy always. Thank you very much. Getting my fiancé back means a whole lot to me. Wow, Risa, you are here. Good afternoon, Emerson. I hope I did not interrupt anything. No, not at all. Please, have a seat. Thank you. I'm really curious to know why a beautiful damsel like you would bother to come to my house this hot afternoon. I have some pressing issue. Emerson, I don't know if you are in a position to talk now. I'm really honored to have you in my house. Even if I'm not in a good position, I will try to be. You are funny. I'm not joking. You don't know how lucky I am to have you here. I'm sorry, but you are making me a bit uncomfortable with your praises. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, but I think I know your reason for being here, and I want you to know that I feel the same way too. What are you talking about? What do you think I am here for? What? Um, I would like to hear it. This is really the problem with Queen. Wait, wait, were you here because of Queen? Yes, Queen has been crying non-stop. She's worried. Maybe she has offended you without knowing. Queen, I can't believe you came all the way to this place just to talk about Queen. She's my friend, and I will do anything for her. Did she say that I'm not treating her well? Yes, she did. Queen is no longer herself. She loves you so much, and it is obvious you are hurting her. 
Tell her I have just been busy with her. She should relax and stop budging herself. Please, Emerson, stop taking her for granted. If you don't need her anymore, open up and say so. Who said I don't need her anymore? I just need a little time to fix something. Don't just cut off her like that. It is hurting her. It's, it's okay, I've had you. I'll call her and talk to her. Thank you. I have to take my leave now. Ah, so soon? Please sit. Let me get you something to drink. No, don't bother. I didn't come here for that. Ah, Ogabio, you are here again today. Monica, please. I am not here for your jokes. Joke, okay. I am only greeting you now. Welcome back. Is Joseph home? At least have a seat. Let me get you something chilled to drink. I don't want to sit. I am not here for you. I understand that you're still angry about what I did the last time. I am sorry, okay? Monica, is this you? You are apologizing to me? Before, uncle, it is people like you that make it seem like I am a wicked person. I didn't say that. I mean, when it comes to your husband, you don't apologize. I am glad you know that I don't joke with my husband. I am happy to hear you apologize. What a surprise. Good afternoon, Auntie Jane. Good afternoon. Please don't call me Auntie Jane. Okay. You look so beautiful as always. Yeah, thank you. Can I go now? Can I come and visit you later this evening? What for? Do I have any business with you? Aunt Jane, why do you hate me so much? I'm just trying to be close to you. Keep your closeness to yourself, Felicia. Okay, at least can you give me a little manage? Things are hard with me. Madam, things are hard everywhere. Don't bring your own to my place, I beg. I'm still wondering why you hate me because I'm very sure I have done nothing wrong to you. I am glad you know that I hate you. Stay away from me. I want nothing to do with you. This is shocking to think that you barely know me. Do I have to know you before I know you are a thief? What? Lower your voice. Someone might hear us. Oh, so you agree with me that you are a thief? I didn't say that. I never stole in my entire life. I don't know where you got that from. You think I have not been seeing you i have seen you two consecutive times snatching a woman's bag and her phone too then you ran into the bush please lower your voice this is the devil's handwork you are nothing but a detective and you have forgotten that you are a woman karma will soon catch up with you i am a changed person now i no longer steal that is your business and not mine i just pity linda for the friendship he has built with you. Maybe if you find me something doing, then stealing would never be an option. I will never recommend you to anyone. Like I said before, stay away from me. How do I look? You are all dressed. Where are you going to? Answer me, Joe. How do I look? You know you always look beautiful. Oh, thanks, sis. But I just want to know if today's beauty is exceptional. Queen, don't bother me, I beg. Go and make use of the mirror. So you not tell me, Abby? Don't worry, your own time is coming. <laughs> Sorry, da. I told you before that you look beautiful. And I asked, is today's beauty exceptional? Hmm. Now, wow. This kind question, Seth. Look beautiful, Jerry. Okay, sis. I will see you when I come back. You haven't told me where you are going to. I'm just wondering if that is the same way you tell me all your movements. Are you going to lie that I don't tell you where I go to before leaving the house? Well, I'm going to see Emerson. As simple as that. Instead, you will stand and be dragging the whole thing. Whatever. I'll see you later, I beg. Wait, before you go, is everything cool between you and Emerson? Yes, things are cool with us. So after that day he called to check on you, did he call any other day again? No, he didn't. I guess he's busy with work. Queen, are you okay? How do you mean? 
God, I feel like slapping some sense into you. I don't understand. Where is that coming from? Sit down, let's talk. Babe, I can't do this right now. I don't want him to be out of the house by the time I get there. We can talk when I come back. Sit down, Queen. That outing is not necessary. What I want to say is important. What is it? Do you know you are your own problem? Oh yeah, explain. Now I see why Emerson is using you to play games. I hope you didn't tell me to sit down so you can insult me. I'm not insulting you. I am saying the truth. This guy obviously doesn't care about you and you are still forcing yourself. He cares about me. He told me he has been busy with work. So you want to tell me that he wasn't working two years ago where you both started the relationship? How come he is suddenly busy to the point of not having your time? Seriously, Risa. I don't know how to answer that. Open your eyes, baby girl. I feel this guy doesn't love you anymore. He's showing you the red signs, but you are too blind to see it. So what about the proposal? He proposed to me. And so? See, a failed engagement is better than a failed marriage. I seriously love this guy, Risa. I thought he would be my last bus stop. Don't end the relationship with him. I would advise you also give him space. Let's see if he'll come for you. No man is too busy for the woman he loves. This would be hard. But I will try. Please do. I don't want you to throw yourself at a man that doesn't know your value. Thanks, sis. Good afternoon, ma. Are you the Felicia I've been waiting for? Yes, I am. I told you to be here in the next one hour. Just look at the time you are here. I'm really sorry, ma. The traffic delayed me. I know you use traffic as an excuse. Sorry, ma. It won't happen again. Sit down. Let's resume. I don't have much time. I have somewhere to go. Thank you, ma. Um, please, before we start, can I ask you a question, please? Yes, go ahead. You can ask me anything. What's your name, please? Why are you asking? Are you here for the job or you are here to know my name? I'm here for the job. I just want to know your name. It's not a big deal, Sha. My name is Monica. Oh, so you are Monica. Wow. Thank God I didn't go to the wrong person. I don't understand. What do you mean by the wrong person? Did someone tell you about me? Not at all. I just like people that answers Monica. Whatever. So how many minutes did it take you from your house to this place? About 20 minutes. My house is very far from here. Oh, that is a huge disadvantage. Why? I thought I would be living here with you. No, dear. I live here with my husband. I can't let an adult of 25 years live with us. Just get it off your mind. I am a married woman and I love my husband. Oh, you're married? That's great. Actually, I needed someone of age range from 15 to 20 years old. That is just a waste of time, Madam Monica. I can claim better than the ages of people you mentioned. I am not doubting that. I am just protecting my husband. If you will employ me, then you have nothing to fear. Do you have a child? No, I don't. So it's just the husband that you have? Yes, ma. So I don't have eyes on people's husband. Okay. Your pay will be 50,000 naira. Ah, 50k. Thank you very much, ma. I didn't expect such amount of money. But you have to be here before 6 in the morning. No, ma. I prefer to live here. I can't go through the stress of entering the tax every day with the cold and everything. If you live here, you know your feeding will be taken care of and free accommodation. So your pay will reduce. Reduce to how much? 40,000 naira. It is better I agree to it. Alright then, let me inform my driver to go with you to get your things. Okay, ma. Okay. How many times have I told you to stop calling me that name? <laughs> Whether you like it or not, that will always be your name. Continue. I guess the only time you stop is when I give you a bleeding nose. I know you will do no such thing. 
unless you want to sit in jail. Oh yeah, keep on calling me that name now. I am still wondering why you eat that name with so much passion. How can you be calling a grown man like me, Joe Boy? Do I look like a boy to you? Maybe you are still a boy. Only men with children are considered men. That means you are both boys. You don't even have a wife. Talk more of a child. See, no use this opportunity to mock me, oh. else I won't take it kindly with you. So it is so sweet for you to mock me, Abi. You never even see anything. Now you, Sabi. Why didn't you go to work today? Why are you having dark circles under your eyes? Have you not been sleeping well? Mm, bro, my problem is as big as this house. Share it with me. Maybe I might have a solution to it. It is something you are aware of. It is still about a child issue. How many times do I have to tell you that children comes from God? But it is taking too long now. We have money and everything, yet we don't have a child. Relax, bro. God will make it happen at his own time. Keep open. But why open? Have you gone to the hospital for checkup? No, we haven't. Oh, really? So you will just stay at home and be open on God without taking a step? I am positive that everything is okay with my wife and I. You can't just conclude. Maybe there are some little drugs you have to take to boost your immune. You are right. I'll try and visit the doctor. Don't try. Make sure you visit the hospital with your wife. I will, bro. What is an angelic beauty doing on the road by this time? Good evening, Emerson. I'm surprised to see you here. I should be the one to be surprised because I use this road almost every day. Well, this is my first time of coming here. What about your car? You didn't come with it. No, not at all. I like taking a 30 minutes walk every day so that is what I am doing now. I really like your kind of person, Risa. You are just so perfect. Thank you, Emerson. Why are you trekking? What about your own car? Develop a fault, so I took it to a mechanic. Oh, I see. I have to go now. Please wait. Can I see you tomorrow? Why do you want to see me? Is there a problem? No, dear, but I have something to discuss with you. Then let's discuss it here. There is no point having a special time for it. No, I can't see it here. It will take so much of our time and I'm in a hurry. Okay, then tomorrow it is. Where should we meet? My house should be okay. So do you think I should come with Ima? No, dear, I want it to be just both of us. Ima should not be aware of it. Then it has to be very important for Ima not to know about it. Yes, it is. Not even Queen should be aware. Okay, no problem. Nobody will know about it. I promise to keep a lot of goodies for you. <laughs> okay, I can't wait for tomorrow to be here. Try, Ima is so lucky to have a beautiful girl like you. If I have someone like you, eh, I will never leave you. <laughs> okay, thank you for the compliment. I have to go now. Please don't forget tomorrow. Okay, I won't. Take care of yourself. Chai, my friend. I am so happy to see you here. I'm happy to see you. It's just that if I am the only one that needs you. Don't say that. How will I find you when I don't even know where you live? I came to the house the other day, but your clothes were gone. And you didn't call me. If I thought you cared to see me, you would have asked for my location. You are my best friend and I care about you. I missed you. Thank you for directing me to this post office. Were you able to find the lady? It was not easy. I called over four people and I went to their houses for interview. And when I asked for their names, they would tell me a different thing. I told you there would be so many vacancies at the post office. I am so happy. I finally found her. I am happy for you too. So how is life over there? My dear, there is nothing compared to this side. I work tirelessly and that lady is so annoying. You are a hot-tempered person. Sometimes if I get angry, I would just go in my room and punch my traveling bag and imagine punching her. That is the only way I get relieved. <laughs> can imagine. I am so happy where I am. The woman here does not have a problem at all. This is what's the kind of place I needed to. And not that place I stay. I literally have to do everything for her, even brushing her hair. Don't tell me you are already tired. No, I am not. 40,000 Naira can go a long way for me. Just endure whatever they do. You can work for them for a whole year and be saving your salary before you quit. What about you? Will you quit? 
quit waiting. Ha, I die here. Oh. I know now, nah, heaven on earth, babe. I have to get going before the lousy mouth come back. I guess you know the location of the house since you brought me here. So come and visit me very soon. Okay, then. Take care of yourself. And you too. Hi, Emerson. Oh, welcome, dear. I was beginning to think you won't come as you promised. Come on. How could I miss all the goodies you promised me? <laughs> Women and goodies are like five and six. <laughs> Who don't like Betati? I wonder how you are very welcomed. I'm happy to see your beautiful face once again. Thank you. So now can I know why you invited me here? Don't be in a rush, my love. I cook for you. Let's go to the dining table. No, not so fast. At least until I know why you invited me here. Let me start by asking you a question. Okay, I am all ears. Do you have feelings for me? I would like you to listen to the question yourself. How does this sound? It is just an ominous question. I just want to know. I don't have an answer to that. Let me answer it for you. I think you have feelings for me. Else you won't come to my house without the knowledge of your friends. But you told me not to tell them. Yes, I did. I'm just trying to let you know that before you decide to play along with me. That means you have feelings for me. <laughs> At this point, I would like to know why I am here, Emerson. I'm in love with you, Risa. I've always loved you even before you got in a relationship with Tima. Really? My mistake was I proposed to Queen before I realized I was having feelings for you. Wow. I was just managing my feelings small small until you might spoil everything by showing interest in you. That was how I got tired of Queen completely. So why can't you tell her so you both can be free? I can't tell her I don't want to hurt her feelings. She has tried for me in the past. She has contributed in my NY business one way or the other. Okay. So now you are with her out of pity. Exactly, you are the one I truly love. There is no day I don't think about you. That is nice. Talk to me. Don't you feel the same way? You haven't given me a reasonable response since you came here. Do you realize what you have done, Emerson? Yes, this is me confessing my love for you. You successfully betrayed two people that genuinely cares about you, Ima and Quinn. They will never find out about this. Says who? You? For your information, I recorded everything you said on my phone. You will hear from them soon. Baby, you're not sleeping yet. No, I'm not feeling sleepy yet. Why? Is everything okay? Is there anything you want me to get for you? No, don't bother yourself, my love. You can sleep. I'll join you later. I don't like the expression on your face. You look worried. Yes, I'm worried. I thought as much. It is about us not having a child, I guess. Are you not worried as well? I mean, we have been married for a long time. I am worried, but I have realized there is nothing we can do about it. Don't say that. There is something we can do. The only thing we can do is to pray and keep hoping on God. How about you go to the hospital for checkup? Are you insinuating there is something wrong with me? Of course not. The suggestion is for the both of us to go there. I will not come with you. I am positive there is nothing wrong with us. Not everyone is destined to have a child. God forbid. That is not my portion. I shall hear the cry of my child in this house. Amen. No, I pray God listens to our prayers. As we are praying to God, we also have to take some necessary actions. If you're talking about us going to the hospital, then that particular action is not necessary. Please, my love, it will not take much of our time. I promise to get you a new car after our checkup from the hospital. Are you sure? I promise. I'll get you any car of your choice. Okay, baby. We can go to the hospital tomorrow. Thank you, my little love. Good evening, mom. Good evening, my dear. Are you done eating? No, I haven't eaten yet. I am still waiting for you. I told you already that I am not hungry. You this girl, you want to kill me with food. <laughs> I want you to look healthier than this so that when your son sees you again, he won't recognize you. <laughs> I hear you. So far, you have taken very good care of me. Yes, mom. And I want to do more. I have noticed that you don't really have much clothes to wear. No, I don't. The ones I wear, I bought them when I was working. And now that I am working, I will buy new clothes. You don't have to worry about that. I will take care of your clothes. Really? Ha! Ah, thank you very much, ma. You're welcome, my dear. Go to my room and get my car keys. Let's go.
Um, please, Ma, can we go tomorrow? Why not today? I want to go and visit a friend of mine that does the same job as mine. I thought you went there last week. No, I didn't. I went to the old house, but she was not there. She has given me the new address. No problem. What time will you be going there? I want to go there now. Make sure you don't come back late and stay out of anything that will bring harm to you. Okay, Mom. Let me go and eat. You can join me later. Let's go together. Oh, so now you are hungry. <laughs> yes, I am. Risa, why haven't you been picking my calls? Can you imagine the audacity? Oga, are you right at all? I've been calling you for the past few days without any response from you. If I were you, I would stop this nonsense you think you are doing. So you don't put yourself in trouble. Can you come over to my house? Let's talk. Talk about what exactly? About us. We didn't conclude our discussion the last time. I feel sorry for you, Emerson. I don't think you know what you are getting yourself into. What am I getting myself into? Is it the crime to fall for you? I'm your friend's girlfriend, for God's sake. Have you no shame? So you don't want to be with me because of Ima? I promise you will never find out. I guess you don't have anything to say. I have to end this call now. See, Risa, I promise to take very good care of you and you will not regret giving me a chance. Enough of this nonsense. You are not my type and I will never leave Ima for you. Okay then, I hope you don't regret your decisions later. <laughs> regret what? Don't be in with an ungrateful broke guy like you. Wake up from your dreams, bro. I hope you are not trying to call me names. That is one thing I will never tolerate from you. If you don't want insults from me, then end your call. You don't know how I despise you. Were you serious when you said you recorded our conversation that day? Yes, I recorded every single word you said. And guess what? If you get on my nerves any longer, I will make sure I play that recording to Emma and Queen. Come on, it hasn't got to that point now. It has even passed to that point trying me and you will see my next action. How much do you want? Excuse me. I know you recorded it to blackmail me and get money from me. <laughs> it is obvious you don't know my son name. Money is not my problem, bro. I am capable of taking care of you and your generation for 10 years without shaking. If it is not money you want, then what do you want? I want you to stay away from me. Never call my line again. If you see me on the road, look at the other side of the road and pretend like you did not see me. Hmm, okay. If that is what will make you not to inform Ima, then no problem, I'll do it. Better. Ima Alpha. I'm glad you remembered me today. I always remember you every day. After all, you're my closest friend. You look thin. Haven't you been feeling well? I have. Maybe it's stress from work. I need a break. Yes, you do. Is your business moving well? Yes, it is, by God's grace. That is nice. I love hearing things like that. Did you travel? I haven't seen you in a long while. I even came two days ago, but your door was locked and your line was off. Yes, I traveled. I had to go buy my products myself. I realized the guy that buys for me had been lying about the prices. Okay, that is nice. I pray I should also be able to travel like that to buy my products. <laughs> you will. It is one step at a time. What about your Risa? I haven't seen her in a while. I believe she is fine. She called to inform me she would be coming over this evening. That is herself. I don't really like her that much. Since when did you start hating Risa? Or is it because of Queen? I beg, don't mess up such name here. Don't tell me you haven't still settled things with Queen. There's nothing to settle. I have made up my mind that I don't need that anymore. Funny you. After you proposed to her, your shame they shame me. I cannot marry her out of pity. I need space to look for someone more beautiful. Whatever. It is your life, Sha. So do whatever you like. It's good, you know. I have to go before Isha comes. I don't want her to start talking about Queen to me. Relax. She's not coming now. Let me get you something to chill with. Ogabil. The multimillionaire himself. No, the wine me, Joe. Me and you, who should be addressed as multimillionaire? You now, I did learn work for where you did. <laughs> I beg, no do. I no get joy. What thing happen? You have problems at work. I can't remember the last time I had problems at work. If it is not work, then it is your wife. You better go home and undo it. Don't be silly. It is not about my wife. 
I'm just sad for not being able to have a child. Guy, I am tired of hearing this particular complaint. Shibi, I told you to go and see a doctor. I did, but the doctor said there is nothing wrong with me and my wife. So what could be the problem? Maybe the problem is from you. You are a madman. Well, if you both are okay, that is a great news. She will take in soon. I pray it should be soon, because I'm the only male child in my family. Your problem is simple. If you don't have a child, at least you have achieved one thing, which is marrying your soulmate. Yes, Sue. So. I keep thanking God every day for giving me such a lovely wife. Make I hear what, Joe. I did not tell you to praise your wife. That woman that likes material things like there's no tomorrow. I believe every woman is different. There is nobody without flow. I have money. Let her spend it anyhow she likes. I love her like that. I wonder how you would have done if you didn't have money to cater for her needs. I believe every woman is different. If I didn't have money, I wouldn't have gone for the type that fits my status. Really? When I met Monica, everything she wore was expensive, starting from her hair to her heels. Even her skin glued under the sun. I knew she spent good money to look that way, and it would take good money to make her continue looking that way. You are right, Sha. It is good to go for the one that fits your status, to avoid shouting that a woman loves money. I'm glad you see from my point of view. I love my wife so much and I will continue spending on her. I wish I can find a woman I can say the same thing to. You are not ready to settle down now. Who told you? I am very ready to settle down. It's just that women are everywhere but wife materials are hard to find. Don't worry. You will find a wife soon. You yourself, you will just disappear into signing air and reappear anytime you like. <laughs> I should be the one to say that. You know they even find me. I came to your house yesterday. Didn't your house help tell you? No. Why didn't you call me now? It turned out that you forgot your phone in the house. I thought you came back early, but you didn't. I don't know what is wrong with that Felicia of a girl. She didn't say a word about your visit. Shabby, I told you to kick that girl out, but you insist on letting her stay. I am just letting her stay because of her hard work and she is not a threat to my marriage. I don't like that girl at all. She looks like an apprentice. Don't worry. She won't get anywhere close to you when you come to the house. Whatever. Where did you go to that you left your phone at home? My husband took me out for lunch. I didn't realize I forgot my phone until I got there. Your husband took you for lunch? Ah, that is so romantic. Yes, dear. You can say that again. Joseph has not stopped doing what he did when we first met. Your husband is such a wonderful man. I pray to have a man like yours. This one you want to have a marriage like mine. Don't come and drag my husband with me. Oh. What is that supposed to mean? No offense, but I have watched so many movies where a friend betrays a friend because of a man. Come on now. You know I am not like that. I would never do such a thing to you. I am just making it clear to you. Because I don't joke with my husband. Joseph is not even my spec, self. Hmm, but his pocket is your spec. Ha <laughs> true, Sha. His pocket is my spec and not his personality. Thank God I have warned you on time. You won't like what I will do if I found out you have eyes on my husband. Relax, Jare. You are acting as if this your husband is a god. You and I know you gave him because of his money. God forbid. I love him genuinely with or without his money i hear you would you like to join me for shopping is that one a question you know i always got your back when it's come to shopping go and get your car key we will be using your car today okay see her is like a dream to me yourself mom you can be funny at times didn't you see me last two months listen to yourself how does that sound to you you know I'm a married man. Don't expect me to come see you all the time. And what is wrong with my only son coming to see me from time to time? I need to concentrate on my family and work. Oh, so now I am not your family, Abby? Besides, which family are you talking about? Is it a family of just you and Monica? Mom, that is not funny. I know you are just trying to mock me. It is very funny. Mention family as if it consists of your wife and children. My wife and I went to the hospital to run a test. So, what did the results show? There's nothing wrong with neither of us. My wife is clean and I am clean too. So what could be the problem? 
I also believe that not everyone are destined to have a child. You're just using that one to console yourself. Please, enough about me. How have you been? I have been fine, my son. Linda is taking very good care of me. I can't see that. Indeed, boredom is not good. At all, I know what I passed through to stay in this house alone. Fatima called early this morning. That is the reason why I'm here. Oh, Fatima, my dear daughter, I missed her so much. She said her phone got lost with some card. That is why she has not been able to hear from you for a while now. I knew it. I knew that Fatima cannot stay for a whole week without hearing from me, unlike you. I won't comment on that. She reached out to me on social media and gave me her new number. Please, when you hear from her again, ask her if she will come to Nigeria for holiday. I already did that, but she suggested you go over there and meet her. Really? I won't hesitate to do that. Though. I really want to leave this country. So your answer is yes? This is your question is somehow. You know I also want to leave Nigeria. Okay, mom. I will tell her. I will also get you your passport. Thank you, my dear child. I cannot wait to try. Thank you very much for honoring my call and coming here to see me. Come on. You don't have to thank me. This is my only way to appreciate you for standing up for me that day. I don't know what would have happened if you weren't there. I did what was necessary. Thank you. I am grateful. You look so beautiful. More beautiful than that day I saw you. Thank you. You don't look bad either. So tell me about yourself. Are you from here? No, I'm not from here. But I schooled here. Are you done with the university? Yes. I'm a graduate of communication arts. Congratulations, dear. I can't believe that a graduate like you was molested yesterday. Oh, stop it. It can be anyone. Exactly. It can happen to anyone. So what about your family? My family are back at my hometown. I stay with my friend. Accommodation problem or what? No, not at all. I can afford my own place. But I'm scared of boredom. So I chose to stay with her. So you mean you and that guy from yesterday are no longer together? Never again. We are done with each other. What is your own view on giving another person a chance to love you? I am not open for any relationship now. I just want to be on my own. Why? Because of one ungrateful person that didn't know your words? Yes, and that has taught me a lesson. Well, I can't pressure you to do anything. I respect your decision. Thank you. How about you? Are you married? No, I am not. I was hoping to start something with you. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I just met with you yesterday, and today you want to start something with me. Is that a problem? Well, sorry to disappoint you. I don't need a man for now. I don't just need any more heartbreaks. But I hope I can be friends with you. Why not? You have a very nice personality. Thank you, and I hope I can see you some other time. If you are my friend, then you can see me whenever you like. Thank you, dear. Ah, uh, Risa, you're still sitting here. Madam Waka Waka, she be your two legs cannot stay in one place. I beg, free me, Joe. You have left me all alone in this house since morning, Uncle. Did I go out for flexing? Was it not work I went to? Are you sabi? Well, I didn't go far. I went to see my newfound friend. Newfound friend, K. Okay. Since when? Since when you noticed I was not at home. So a new friend has successfully taken you away from me, Abby? Ah, no now. We are best friends for life. He's a nice person. That's why I want to be his friend. Oh, the person we are even talking about, he is a he. You mean I did not tell you what happened between Emerson and I two days ago? Don't tell me you went to see Emerson after everything we discussed. God forbid. Even if long life and prosperity is in his house, I would never go there for it. So how did you both meet? I met him on my way to purchase some items. I don't know what he was doing in this neighborhood. Hmm, that guy is just a pain in the house. He had the guts to lay his hands on me. He did what? I'm telling you, that was how the stranger that turned my friend came to my rescue. That Emerson guy is beating more than he can chew. What right does he have to do that? 
That is the same question I keep asking myself. Love can make you tolerate things you're not supposed to. I guess it is time I teach that guy a lesson. He doesn't know who I am. Don't worry. Just let it go. When he tries it again. Chai, I wish I was there. I would put him behind bars and make sure he rots there. Calm down, dear. We will deal with him whenever he tries it again. The next time you see your new friend, tell him thank you for me. He did well. I will definitely do that. In fact, you will like him when you see him. I see someone is already crushing. Come off it, Joe. My heart is already locked. I can't give any more rooms for heartbreak. I can only be friends with him. It's okay. Just be careful and know that I care about you a lot. Thank you, sis. My princess, thank you for coming. Are you kidding me? I missed you the most. I would have been out of town today, but I decided to skip it for you. I have told you times without Norma, not to skip any. Happy birthday, my love. Aww, you remembered my birthday. I would never forget your birthday for the whole world. You mean so much to me. I actually forgot my birthday because I don't have plans of celebrating. Ever since I met you, you have been a good luck charm to me. My life has changed for the better. Ah, uh, I couldn't have asked for more. You are exactly the type of man I needed and God gave you to me on a platter of good. No, God gave you to me on a platter of good. I am lucky to have you. Thank you, dear. So I have come to the conclusion that I am tired of being in a relationship with you. What did you just say? Yes, you heard me. I want more. I want you in this house and around me all the time. So therefore, I want you to be my wife. <laughs> you scared me at first. I thought you wanted to end the relationship. God forbid. Let such a thing never come into your mind. I will never leave you. I know, baby. Wait, are you proposing to be? Yes, Risa. I can't hold back anymore. All I want now is you. You're making me emotional. Please say yes to me. Make me a complete man, please. I promise to treat you right and never give you a reason to cry. <laughs> yes, Emmanuel. I will marry you. Monica, didn't you hear me call all this while? Why were you shouting my name like that? What is the problem? Oh, so you heard me, but you choose to ignore me. Joseph, I beg. I don't get strength this morning. Don't stress me. Is there something you would like to tell me? There is nothing to tell you, Joseph. I just woke up. Allow me to rest. Young woman, answer my question now. Is there something you want to tell me? Is there something you want me to know of? Something like what? Something like why you have pills of drugs hidden in your bag. Why did you go search my back? That is not important. Answer my question. I am running out of patience. Well, those are pain relieving tablets. I take them when I have pains on my joints. Shut up your mouth. Do I look like a child to you? Stop shouting at me, Joseph, because of a mere drugs. Maybe if you tell me exactly what those drugs are meant for, then I'll stop shouting. I told you before, that drug is a pain relieving tablet. I was curious to know why you had so many drugs in your bag. You have never complained of being sick. So I browsed the names of those drugs. I, 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 I can explain. Monica, how could you? You know how desperate I am to have a child. How could you? I am really sorry. Please forgive me. Every day, I ask you why you can't conceive. Even after the doctor confirmed you are okay, not knowing you have been taking drugs to prevent you from getting pregnant. I am sorry, Joseph. I did it for you. Excuse me? What did you just say? Yes, you heard me. I remember when you told me you love women with flat tummy and beautiful shape. I took it to heart and decided to keep that shape and body for you, just the way you like it. What nonsense are you saying? Yes, I said it when we were not married. But now we are married. I need a child. Gosh, I'm so disappointed in you. I did not expect this. She began knock before coming into someone's house. Make I hear what, Joe. I say they knock before you come into my own house. This is invasion of privacy. What if I was with my woman? Queen, we understand. After all, the few times you came to my house with her, she saw how you badge with without knocking. Who is talking about Queen in this matter? You said what? If you are with your woman, so I assume it's Queen. Stop assuming. Next time you ask questions, Queen is no longer my woman. Don't tell me you finally told her you don't need her anymore. Of course I did. 
That girl now sleeps around with different men. Ah, Emma Sin. How could you say that? You and I know Queen is a very decent girl. My brother, not anymore. Don't let her deceive you. That was I had a mere conversation with her on the road last week. One of her boyfriends came and challenged me to leave his girlfriend alone. What? This is unbelievable. How can she move on so fast? I mean you both are still engaged. We are engaged but not anymore. Have you gotten the ring back? She can keep the ring or better still throw it away. I don't want it anymore. Hmm. Thank God Risa is not like that. Who told you? My dear, best of safe feathers flock together. No, Risa cannot be like that. I proposed to her and she said yes to me. You did what? Bro, you just made the biggest mistake of your life. You know how much I love Risa. Bro, we are not talking about love here. Yeah. That girl is a cheat. She does not love you the same you do. Really? So you have seen her with a man before? Yes, nah. Not once, not twice. The last time I saw her, she was with a man holding hands to a supermarket. Okay, thank you for the information. Once the wedding date has been fixed, you'll be the first to know. Just, I just told you that I saw your fiancé with a man holding hands to the supermarket. I heard you correctly, Emerson. So what do you want me to do? Cancel the proposal? Is that all you have to say? Yes, nah. I love her and I want to marry her. Allow me to find out if she is cheating or not. You don't have to tell me. Sorry for looking out for you. Next time, I will have closed my eyes. Now you sabi. Welcome to my humble abode, queen of the universe. <laughs> it's good you know I am the queen of the universe. I don't make mistakes when I talk. By the way, you have such an amazing house. I like it here. Thank you, dear. Please, let's sit. So you live here all alone? Yes, there's no one to live with, unlike you that has friends everywhere. <laughs> Which one is everywhere? I have just one friend, and we both live together. Yes, ma. So what would you like to take? No, don't worry. You spoiled me outside already. It would be unfair to demand something. Please don't say that. I am not complaining. Besides, there's no way you will leave my house without taking anything. My stomach is full already. I might throw up for overloading. Hmm, okay. I will be traveling to my hometown very soon. Do you mind coming with me? Ah, I can't follow you everywhere now. I want you by my side, Queen. We are just friends, remember? You mean you don't still feel anything for me till now? I feel something for you, but I'm not ready to be in a relationship yet. It's okay. Like I said before, I won't force you. You are a Queen, so you deserve to be treated like one. Thanks for understanding. Let me get you some goodies. Hi, Jane. Baby girl, thank God you came. I was feeling so bored. How fun now? You didn't go to work today. Why? If I had gone to work, you wouldn't have seen me at home now. Maybe you should quit from that your job and work in one of my husband's company. Thank you for your offer. But I am okay with my job. They pay me very well. My husband will pay you more than what you're being paid now. After all, you're my friend. I appreciate your kind gesture, but I am okay where I work. I don't want a husband for her. What is that one? Has he ever insulted you before? Does she have to insult me before I know she doesn't like me? Come on. I see the way she looks at me with hatred. Just making things up in your head. But it's okay we don't need the offer. How is he, by the way? It's been a while I saw him. He is fine. Only that he is angry with me at the moment. Why? You both had a fight again. Did we have a fight before? My husband and I really fight. Our marriage is one of the best. Don't praise yourself. Allow someone to do that for you. Else, it would look like you are just trying to convince yourself that your marriage is perfect. See this girl, Lou. The few times you've been in my house, have you ever seen my husband and I fight? That doesn't make your marriage perfect, Lou. In fact, there is no perfect marriage. I smell jealousy. <laughs> Babe, you should know I am the last person to be jealous of your marriage. Whatever. Do you mind telling me what the fight was all about? So you can use it to mock me, Abby? Come on. You know I was just joking. You are always joking. You will say something serious and later claim you were just joking. I am sorry. I was just joking. You and I know your marriage is perfect. Exactly. You can say that again. So what happened? He found out I have been taking drugs to prevent me from getting pregnant. Wait. 
You have been taking drugs? Yes, now. You know how much I love and adore my body. I can't risk being out of shape. So this is why you both were jumping from one prayer to from another, seeking for the fruit of the womb. You had the solution on your palms. What did you expect me to do? Tell my husband I was taking drugs. Ah, no now. I had to play along. Babe, it would have been better if you had told him yourself than him finding out. Joseph would never have agreed to it. So now that he has found out, Uncle, he won't still agree to it. He doesn't have a choice. I made up my mind to be a wife and beautiful side chick for my husband. Monica, you are my friend, but I won't lie to you. What you did was very wrong. You know your husband is really in need of a child. That is for him now. As for me, I don't need a child. I can't ruin my beautiful figure. <laughs>
she will never remember she kept her money here. I think she's the one that kept this money. After taking this last one, I have to run away. For real, this house. Finally, finally. I now know the thief that has been stealing my husband's money and mine. What? Welcome, ma. Well, welcome to you too. Nonsense. Chai Felicia, how could you? I'm really sorry, ma. It's the devil's handwork. I'm not usually like this. <laughs> You're not usually like this. I have dropped it back where I saw it. Felicia, I am really disappointed in you. If you needed money, why didn't you tell us instead of stealing from us? I'm really sorry, ma. I don't know what came over me. How much of our money have you stolen so far? It is up to a hundred thousand naira. Were you the one that stole my gold jewelry? Yes, ma. Please forgive me. It was the devil's handwork. I know. All the blame is always shifted to the devil. Please forgive me. I promise it will never happen again. Alicia. Yes, ma. I am going to teach you a lesson you will never forget so soon. You dare come to my house and steal from me, I will make sure you rot in jail. Ah, oh, madam, please forgive me, ma. I swear I will never do this again. There is no need to beg me. The police are already on their way. Ah, oh, I am finished. Please, ma, don't, don't, don't do this to me, ma. I'm a changed person now. <laughs> you changed overnight. Isn't that funny? The police are almost here. Get ready. Mama, sorry I came late. How are you? You promised you were going to spend the weekend with me, but you never showed up. Sorry, Ma. I have been busy. In fact, it skipped my mind. You have been busy doing what? Shopping and going for a massage? <laughs> Chai, Mama. Now you know your daughter's favorite things. So, Monica, you mean to tell me that you forgot to come stay with me because of shopping? No, no. I didn't say that. You are the one that said it. Well, thank God I'll be leaving you and your Wahala very soon. My husband mentioned to me that you'll be leaving Nigeria very soon to go stay with one of your daughters. Yes, you had right. And by the time I come back, if I hear you call me Mama again, I will deal with you mercilessly. <laughs> the Mama G herself. Don't worry, when you leave Nigeria and return, things will change. I hope it will be for the better. Of course, we don't pray for bad things to happen. And I'll be coming back to carry my grandchildren. Amen. No, oh, I pray God should answer our prayers very soon. He will. So when are you leaving? My flight is 3 p.m. tomorrow. So I'll be there before that time. Okay, what about your maid? Have you informed her? Yes, yeah, she's away. Chai, Mama will miss you. Please try and come back as soon as possible. I will, my dear. I want you to take me to the airport tomorrow and be here on time. Okay, mommy. And please, I want you to do me a favor. I will do anything for you, especially now that you're traveling. I want you to take in Linda for me. You have always wanted a maid. I recommend her for you. She's a very nice girl. Oh, thank you for the information. I am really in need of a maid. Can I take her today? So that will be tomorrow when I travel. Okay, mom. I am so happy to have such a loving mother-in-law like you. I couldn't have asked for more. Thank you, my dear. Just take care of my son for me. Welcome to my house, Linda. Even though I have been here before, it still looks strange to me. I must comment. This is one of the best houses in this state. Thank you. Only the rich can afford it. I can say that. So, Linda, how old are you and are you married? I am not yet married and I am not up to 30. I brought you here because of Mama's wish. She really trusts you, you know. Oh, Mama, I am missing her already. I wish she took me along with her. So, as I was saying, you have to choose. Either you come to work from your house or you live here and work. Which do you prefer? I would like to live here and work. I don't have any other place to stay. The only reason I would let you stay is because of your aunt. She is a very good friend of mine. Thank you. I just hope you don't start stealing my money like the last person did. What? Your old mate stole your money? Yes, she did and I put her behind the bars. Why now? You should have just sacked her instead of putting her behind bars. 
Excuse me, are you trying to dictate for me what I would have done? Sorry, ma. See, let me warn you. I have zero tolerance for nonsense. If a pin in this house gets missing and you think I will just sack you without letting you pay, then you lie. Sorry, ma. Do your job diligently and you will enjoy your stay here. Okay, ma. You are not allowed to leave this house anyhow you like unless you are going to the market. Yes, ma. And if you think I will tolerate a bad behavior from you because of your aunt, then you have to think twice. Okay, ma. So many people are out there looking for this job. So if at any point you feel you can't do it anymore, then you can walk away. Okay, ma. And lastly, I will repeat myself again. If a pin gets missing in my house, I will treat you like a dirty thief. Yes, ma. Let's go in so I can show you to your room. Okay, ma. to jay ah jay longest time i am surprised you can still find your way to my house how can you say that you know i can't forget you now that is what it seems to me ever since you got that job not even a call from you i am sorry i was expecting a call from you sha so you are also guilty how are you how is monica's mother-in-law she is very fine, but she is no longer in Nigeria. Now, I see why you came to look for me. That is a big lie. I had it in mind to come visit you today, whether she was around or not. So now, you are jobless once again? No, I'm not. Your friend took me in, so I live with her now. Oh, wow. That is good. I saw her yesterday, but she didn't mention it. I moved in yesterday. She went out with her husband, so I decided to use that opportunity to come and visit you. Thank you, dear. I am so happy to see you. Sis, please, I need a favor from you. What is it? Monica arrested Felicia for stealing her money. And so? You should have applauded her for handling the case maturely. Yes, I know Felicia was wrong, but I brought her to the city. I can't let anything happen to her. So what do you want me to do now? Please, I want you to persuade her to release Felicia and make her tell you the police station she took her to. I can't do that. Felicia is a thief and she deserves it. Yes, I know she deserves it, but please forgive her. I know she has learned her lesson now. Stand up. I will see what I can do. Please try your best for me. Notify me when you come so I can hide somewhere and listen to your conversation. I will only do this for you. Thank you, sis. The bill himself. Don't even heal me. Do you know how long we have waited for you? Sorry, bro. I had to attend to my beautiful wife first. As if you are not living with your beautiful wife and you cannot attend to her later. I am not even here for you. Who is this beautiful dancer with you? Oh, so you agree she is beautiful? Of course she is. But my wife is still the most beautiful. <laughs> you don't look bad either. Good evening to you. I believe your wife is as beautiful as you said. <laughs> Every lady is beautiful in their own way. So you are queen. I see he has told you about me already. He sings your praises every minute. Guy, no come talk past waiting you supposed to talk. Shut up, Joe. Like I said before, I am not here for you. Hey, it's nice to meet you, Joseph. He sings your praises too. But when he sees me, he will pretend he doesn't like my company. Oh yeah, Joseph, it is time for you to go. Go away. I am not done talking to our wife. I would like to meet your wife someday. I wanted to bring her here, but Joseph disagreed. After our wedding, we will both pay a visit. Has the date been fixed yet? No, not yet. She is the one delaying the whole process. Left for me, I would have married her since. Babe, it's one step at a time. We will still be married after all. Please, you both should be fast. I can't wait to have a, a god child. We will. I cooked something delicious for us. Let's go to the dining. Chai, I can't wait. You're already exhibiting your wife material skills. Bro, don't be silly. She cooked it for you. And I appreciate it with my full chest. Let's go. <laughs> Felicia, how could you? 
Now look at what you have gotten yourself into. I have been here for so long. I don't even know what day is today. How could you have done such a thing? And I believe that act did not start today. I regret my action. I wish I didn't steal. I wouldn't have been in this situation. And you know this is just a little punishment compared to if she had taken you to court. Linda, please help me. I will never do it again. What happened to your handwork? Your salary was enough and she still fed you. Have you an accommodation? Stealing from her was not necessary. I know if you call this a little punishment, I wonder how a big punishment will be like. Have you thought about the punishments you will get from God for stealing? Stealing is a crime, Felicia. You better stop it before it's too late. I have stopped. I will never repeat it again. Please help me. I pray you don't. Well, I spoke to Jane, so Jane convinced her to release you. So she agreed. She did? Oh, thank God. Thank you very much, Linda. You are a friend indeed. You don't have to thank me. Jane convinced her, so you have to thank her. I will do that as soon as I'm out of here. No problem. I am now working for Monica, the woman I worked for traveled out of Nigeria. <laughs> I wish I didn't steal. I would still be there. That is to teach you a lesson. Thank you once again. I have to go now before she returns. Okay. Take care of yourself. Okay, dear. <laughs> Good evening, Auntie Jane. What are you doing in my house, you two? I hope I did not interrupt anything. Yes, you did. Now get yourself out of my house this minute. Please, can I sit? I have something to tell you. You are not listening to me. Get out of my house. I know I have wronged you. I'm here to beg for your forgiveness. I hope you know that you are here in the wrong house. If you want to beg for forgiveness, go to Monica's house. You know I can't go there. She would definitely kick me out. Yes, she has to. Because that is the same thing I am about to do now. Auntie Jane. Auntie Felicia, leave my house. I got nothing to do with you. I want to tell you that I am no longer a stealer. I want to get a decent job and earn decent money. <laughs> After your name has already been casted as a thief. It is me not too late to change. It is not a condition that made me go into stealing. Okay now, now that you have said your apology, you can leave my house. I also want to thank you for contributing to my release. Neda told me you begged Monica on my behalf. I didn't do that for you. I did it because of my niece. I don't like seeing her worried. Please, I would like to clear the hatred you have for me and replace it with your likeness. <laughs> I can't like Felicia. You can't force me to like you. Please, Jane. I take Linda as my friend. So would I take you as... Well, I don't hate you. I hate the fact that you're a thief. Okay, then. Good for you. Apology accepted. Baby, you called me here. I hope there is no problem. Monica, why are you really doing this to me? What are you talking about? Why are you still hurting me this way? I thought we agreed never to to keep using the drugs. Oh, so this meeting is about the drugs, huh? Why are you doing this? Don't you want to have a complete family? Does it have to be just the both of us forever? Don't you like it that way? Just the both of us. We enjoy our lives to the maximum. Are you kidding me? So who will carry on my family name? You know I am the only male child and my family looks up to me. I don't think you love me at all, Joseph. What has me not loving you got to do with what I'm saying? If you love me at all, you would not be forcing me to do what I don't want to do. Apart from love, what else did we marry for? So Joseph, you married me because you need children. Yes, that's I. One of the reasons why I married you. I married you for love and to start a family with you. Too bad, because I don't want to go through that dirty process of childbearing. You called it a dirty process. Did you think if your mother had thought the same way you are thinking now, you wouldn't be alive today? Someone else would have given birth to me. If I cannot give birth to the children in my womb, then God will shift them to another person. You sound like an illiterate right now, but thankful I don't hate you, man. Whatever. Since you don't want to give birth, then let's switch to adoption. Eh, yeah, now you're talking. 
I was expecting you to bring it up since. Now that I have brought it up, what is the way forward? There are so many beautiful and handsome children at the orphanage. We can choose one from there. Okay then, go get my car keys, let's go. There's no time to waste. But what age of a child do you want us to take? There should be a two months old baby there at least, so we could start from the scratch and raise him. Ah, God forbid oh. How can we bring in two months old baby to this house? So what age do you think will be okay? At least, a 10 years old boy should be okay. Are you out of your mind? That's a grown man already. How do you expect me to raise a, a two months old baby? Don't you know that that is the hardest part of raising a child? I don't want to go through that process of packing urine with my bare hands now. What is really your problem, Monica? You said you don't want to ruin your shape because of childbirth. I respect your decision. Let's adopt. You are still making it a problem. Joseph, my point is that I don't want a newborn baby in this house. If we need a child, we can adopt from 10 years old. I can see you have made up your mind. I will never bring this up again. Joseph, come back here. Joseph. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Linda. What is it? Nothing, sir. I only came to check on you. Don't you have something doing this morning other than to come to my room to check on me? Where is my wife? Can you just forget about your wife for a second? Where is my wife, Linda? She went out very early this morning. I guess she didn't want to wake you up. My wife is not in this house and you are here. Doing what? I came to clean your room. At first, you came to say hi, but now you came to clean my room. Can you just stop with this pretense? You and I know what you want. Excuse me, what are you talking about? Joseph, I have seen the way you look at me. I know you like me. Did you just call me by my name? I don't know why you like showing this bossy vibe of yours all the time. Get out of my room and I'll pretend I didn't hear what you just said. I told you I came here to clean your room. As you can see, I am not ready to stand up so you can go and come back later. Do you need anything or do you want me to do anything for you? I don't need anything. What I need now is for you to leave my room. I want you to know that I am here for you in case you need anything. Chai, I don't suffer. I don't know what gives me like you the morale to think you can do whatever you like. Sir, I didn't say anything bad. It is my duty to serve you. So you let me know in case you need anything. Okay, you can go. When I say anything, I mean anything at all that is bothering you. I can be of help. What is wrong with this year? I said you should leave my room. Okay, sir. My ears will be on the ground in case I hear you call me. Joe, what's up? I see your message. How far? Is it true? Yes, now. The date has been fixed. I will be a married man two months from now. Man, I can't still believe that you of all people would settle down. I don't understand. Do I look like a womanizer to you? I didn't say you are a womanizer. What I mean is you never had time for women. It was always you and work. I don't really see the need to jump from one woman to the other. I found the right woman when I was ready for marriage. I'm really happy for you, bro. Queen is a perfect match for you. Thank you. Please share the information with your wife. It will be a court wedding. You both are invited. You don't even have to invite me. I will invite myself. <laughs> you know now. Nah. Brothers for life. So how is your wife? It's been a while I saw her. She is fine. She will be so never to come to my house again. I don't just need her wala. I will come with my wife. Okay. Monica is really giving me a headache. Did you talk to her like I said? I mean, talk to her calmly with love. Yes, I did. But she suggested we should adopt a 10-year-old boy so she wouldn't have to go through the dirty stress of raising a child. Monica said that. Well, I am not surprised. You wanted a slick queen, and that is the result. I am not still regretting why I married her. My only problem now is how to have a child. I pity you, Joseph. You are looking for how to have a child when you have a wife in the house who is trying everything possible to prevent herself from taking him. I need a solution, Bill. I don't want to adopt a baby without my wife's consent. So what solution are you looking for again? My brother, your wife is your solution. I just wish there's another way. Of course, there's another way. Only if you are ready for it. Please let me hear it. The only way for you to have a child is to marry a second wife.
Wow, what a beautiful damsel. Good evening to you. Good evening to you too. How are you doing? I'm very fine, thank you. Have we met before? No, we haven't. Do I look familiar to you? Not really. I'm just wondering why you stopped me. I can't walk past a beautiful girl like you without trying to get to know her more. Funny you. Well, there is nothing to know about me. I'm just as you have seen me now. Maybe I can at least know your name. My name is Felicia. What about you? My name is Emerson, but you can call me Baby or any pet name of your choice. Is Baby your middle name? Come on, you know what I mean. Where are you heading to? Do you want to come? Maybe I can take you to wherever you are going to. And how do you intend to do that? By backing me? My car is parked down the road, not too far from here. I came to see one of my customers. I see. Well, thank you for your offer. I have already gotten to where I'm going to. Oh, okay. You look really beautiful. I hope I'm not talking to a married woman. You don't talk to married women. I do, but I don't have any interest for married women. I don't want trouble. Well, I am not married. I'm a single as later, I. Okay, let me have your phone number so I can take you out tomorrow. Okay, but I'm not with my phone right now and I don't know my phone number offhand. So what do we do now? I can't do such beauty like you. My house is just a stone throw. I can go there together so I can get my phone and take you the number. Okay, that is better. Good afternoon, sir. Linda, what is it again? I thought I told you to go. Yes, I left. I just came back. What is it? How can I help you? Sir, I am the one that can help you. I told you to say whatever you want me to do for you, and I will do it. What is all this? Why can't you allow me to have peace in my house? It is a pity that you don't understand what I mean. What is really your problem, Linda? You are my problem. I have come to realize that I have fallen for you. What did you just see, lady? I said I have come to realize. Shut up. I heard what you said the first time. I really mean it, and I know you are really in need of a child now. I promise to give birth to as many children as you want. Chai, just imagine the other city. I know you will sell me as a common maid, but I am not just a common maid. I know what I am good at. And what are you good at? Giving birth? Everything you can think of. I can take good care of you and more than Monica. I will shower you with so much love. You have no idea how much your weight irritates me. Be thankful Monica is not home. Oh, she should have twisted that your mouth. I am not ashamed to tell you how I feel. Even if Monica is there, I will still say the same thing. I don't want to report you to her because I have seen how much she likes you. But if you push me one more time, I will not only report you to her, I will kick you out myself. Please, sir, think about it. Are you still standing here? Get out of here. Sorry, sir. Sweetheart, you are here. You did not go to work today. No, I just want to rest at home. How was your night? It was fine, my love. You woke up early. Is everything okay? Everything is perfect. I guess it is because I slept early last night. I guess so too. Don't worry. Linda will be done with breakfast soon. I am not really hungry, Shara. We'll let her finish first. I might be hungry by then. Babe, you don't look happy as you claim to be. Monica, I am very fine. I feel so relieved and satisfied. If it is about me not wanting to give birth, I want you to know that I have changed my mind. Really? I have decided that instead of adopting a boy of 10 years old, we should adopt a boy of 5 years old. I thought you wanted to say something important. So what I said is not important? It is not important because I have made up my mind to let you be. I don't understand what you mean by let me be. We are still married, right? Of course we are. You know I love you, right? And I want to make you happy. Yes, baby. So if going for shopping and doing manicure is what you want, then no problem. You don't need a child anymore. No, I don't. Your decision is your decision. You can still survive without a child. This is one reason why I married you. You are so understanding. Thank you, dear. And you are so unbelievable. Why? Why would you say that to me? Oh, that didn't come out well. Sorry, I wanted to say you are so beautiful. Thank you, honey. I am so lucky to have you. I am so lucky to have you too. Go and check if Linda is done. Okay.
Baby, you called me here. I hope everything is okay. You and this your question here, so I cannot call you to come and sit with me here. That is because you always call me to come sit with you here when you have something important to say. Well, you're not far from the truth. So let me hear it. Are you aware that Linda has been hitting on me in this house for the past few days now? Hitting on you? How do you mean? She confessed her feelings to me and begged me to give her a chance. Linda did what? I am very serious. I didn't want to tell you because I thought she would stop. But she didn't. She kept repeating over and over again. What kind of nonsense is that? For how long has this been going on? For the past one week now, I threatened her I was going to tell you. But obviously she doesn't care. Chai, God, I don't suffer. The first person stole my money. Now the second person wants to steal my man. Maybe it's time you handed the choice alone. Linda! Linda! My friend, come out here this minute! Good afternoon, ma. Linda, how dare you? Haven't I been treating you well in this house? You have been treating me well, ma. Why did you ask? You look angry. Is there something you would like me to know concerning you and my husband? Something like what? I am just surprised about this, your question. Don't get me angry more than this. Have you been hitting on my husband? Did your husband say I am hitting on him? Don't you dare answer my question with a question. I am just respecting you. You know if you come out woman to woman, I would beat you hands down. What did you just say? Did you just insult my wife in my presence? Linda, do you know the implication of what you just did? Honey, go to the bedroom and get me my phone. I will deal with this gay personally. Ah, Oga, it hasn't gotten to that now. Please, I'm sorry. I was just joking. The reason why I am taking it kindly with you is because of my friend Jane. Else, I would have dealt with you mercilessly. Thank you, ma. But truth be told, I am in love with your husband. I see you haven't still learned your lesson, huh? I am sorry to say this, but you don't know the value of what you have until you lose it. He is my dream man. I tried everything possible to get him, but he kept saying he can't cheat on you. You better hold him tight, else people like me would take him away from you. Go in there, pack your things, and leave my house. Your services is no longer needed. Yes, I will go. I don't regret confessing my feelings to him. Give him a child, else he will slip off your fingers. Joseph, what is the meaning of this? Meaning of what? Did you tell her to say those things just to make me scared and throw those drugs away? How can you say such a thing? I didn't even expect her to own up to it. It seems this guy is not in the house. Everywhere is so quiet. Is this ours? This is his house. He lives here alone. Wow, this is so beautiful. I guess your friend is as rich as you. He's even richer than me. Maybe he's not in the house. We can go and come back later. Call him now. I've been calling him since, but he's not picking up. I don't think it went far since he kept his door open. Guy, how far? I thought a thief broke into my house. We were even talking about you. Why have you not been picking your calls? My phone is in my room. Didn't you hear it ring? How can a businessman like you be leaving his phone in the house? It seems you have forgotten I'm here. <laughs> no, my love. I can't forget you now. Ima, meet the love of my life. Wait. This girl looks familiar. Have we met before? No, we haven't. I know this girl. Were you not the girl that begged for my help a few months back? No, I... I... Shut up your mouth! Ima, I won't have you talk to my fiancé like that. Do you know her from anywhere? Yes, I know her. She's the girl I told you that stole my phone. What, Felicia? Is it true? I don't know what she's talking about. Please forgive me. I'm a changed person now. If you lie one more time, I swear I will break your head. You better tell him the truth. So you are a thief? How could you? You paid back my kindness with evil. Did I do bad for trying to help you? Please, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'm no longer such a person. I have changed. Where is my phone? I sold it. You are such a wicked human being. Do you know what you cost me trying to get back all my customers' numbers? I can't believe this and I was even ready to marry her, not knowing she's a thief. Guy, permit me to use this girl as a scapegoat. Let me deal with her myself, so that next time she would know that thing is not good. Guy, I beg, tamper justice with mercy. I believe she won't do it again. Yes, please, I won't do it again. Keep your mouth shut. I was not talking to you. I will only let her go because of you.
because she is your fiance. God forbid, I can never marry a thief. Baby, please don't say that. I'm not a thief. I know I made mistakes in the past, but I have changed. Get out of my house. Emerson, so you are here. Yeah, if you are here to crucify me about that girl, you better not because I'm not in a good mood now. I am not here because of her. But seriously speaking, that girl does not deserve you at all. I can't still believe she's a thief. I mean, she looks so innocent. She did not just steal from me. She robbed me. Because a girl like her that can steal broad daylight on the streets is not just a thief, but a robber. Hmm, I'm saddened by this. I thought I could use her to get back at Queen. Don't even go there. In fact, Queen has moved on from you since. Who told you that one? That girl loves me so much. She can't move on. <laughs> Stay here and be deceiving yourself. My dear Queen has moved on. How do you know? Did you see her with the man? Queen came to my house a few minutes ago. She came to tell you that she has moved on? It is more like that. She came to invite me to her wedding. Wedding? Queen is getting married. Yes, she is getting married. She looked so beautiful and happy when she came. No, that can't be. She can't move on in such a short period of time. Why would I be lying to you? She came to my house with Risa. Does it mean she never loved me like she claimed? How come she moves on so fast? You both were not meant for each other. That was why you delayed the wedding. After engaging her for one year. No, now I don't think she has moved on. Maybe she just wants to get back at me. Just be happy for her. Your own woman will come soon. Welcome, Auntie Jane. So you are here. Please have a seat. Let's talk. I didn't come here to sit. I want to know what if I heard is true. I guess she told you everything. Is it true? Did you try to seduce her husband? I did not seduce her husband. I only told him how I felt for him. Let me ask you. Was Monica wicked to you? No. Did she treat you like a maid? Did she even deny you of anything you wanted? No. So why then did you have to betray her that way? I did not betray her. I only expressed myself to her husband, that's all. By telling him how you feel and begging him to marry you? That was because Monica was not serious with the guy. She was just using him to play. And so? Did he ever complain to you he didn't like it? He didn't have to complain to me. I saw it in his expression. He was not happy. I will not fail to say that I am disappointed in you, Linda. I took you there because I thought you are still the decent Linda I used to know. I am still that Linda. I guess it is not a crime to tell a man how truly you feel. Yes, it is a crime to tell a married man how you feel. He is already taken. Please, I want to send the message to Monica. Tell her that if she continue playing her husband for a fool, I won't hesitate to take him away from her. You still don't know how Joseph is till now. He loves her and will never look for another woman. There is a limit to everything, Jane. You better advise your friend. So you mean you are not feeling remorseful for what you did? I am genuinely in love with him. I don't have any remorse for that. I want you to go and apologize to them. What he did was wrong. I will not go because I am not regretting my actions. I will end up begging Joseph to consider me. Are you out of your mind? Do you know how bad you have made me look? I am sorry, sis, but I did nothing wrong. I didn't take her husband from her, after all. I will not say this again. Go and apologize to them. Have a nice day. Hi, dear. 
Emerson, what are you doing in my house? Baby, I'm so happy you are home. I was wondering what I would tell Risa when I get here. You haven't answered my question yet. What are you doing in my house? I came to see you for us to talk. Excuse me? Are you even sure you know where you are? It's me, Queen. Come on, Queen. I know who you are. I'm not a child. What exactly do you want to talk about? I'm all ears. You don't have to stand to talk about it. Please, let's sit. Don't you dare sit on my couch, Emerson. You are not welcomed here. Okay then, let's stand and talk. Your time is ticking. Be fast, cause I will soon push you out. Has he got you to this? Where is the sweet and caring queen I used to know? If I'm supposed to show you that side of me, then you killed it a long time ago. Baby, I certainly know how you feel. I came here for us to talk and work things out. <laughs> this is so funny. You want us to work things out? Yes, I still love you and I want you back. <laughs> Oh, please, don't crack my ribs for me. What is funny about what I just said? You want to know what is funny? Fine, I'll tell you. The fact that you shamelessly showed up in my house to tell me you still love me. I just realized I can't live without you. Leave my house, Emerson. Else I'll call the security. Please, my love, think about this. I love you. Hey, I am finished. Baby, what is the problem? Are you finished? My life is gone. Where do I start from? Baby, please talk to me. You are getting me scared. Did someone dump you? It would have been better if someone duped me. But it is worse than that. Tell me please, you are getting me scared. My way has got fire, including the one I just built. What? How? Don't know. It burnt everything to ashes. I wish it burnt just one. Oh my god, this is the worst news ever. How is it even possible for two warehouses to catch fire at once? <sighs> I don't know. The worst has happened to me. I am doomed. No, please don't say that, my love. You are not doomed. You still have me. How can this life be so wicked to me? I decided not to steal but invested in something profitable. Now look at where it has landed me. <laughs> Do you want me to cry with you? It hurts me to see you this way. Please don't cry. We will find a solution to this. Where do I even start from? I have just a hundred thousand naira in my account. That was why I said you shouldn't have used all your money to open that new warehouse. You should have remained a little money in the case of emergency like this. How was I supposed to know something like this will happen? Hmm. It's okay. Calm down first. And we will find a way out. I feel so weak. I just want to die. God forbid, you will not die. I'm here for you. I love you and I will not leave you in this, your trying period. Hi, good evening. Hi, how can I help you? Is this number 35? And does Joseph live here? So, when you walked in here, you didn't see the house number written boldly on the gate. I just want to be sure of where I am. How can I help you? And how do you know my husband? I heard you mention his name. How I know him is none of your business. Kindly go in and tell him I'm here. Can you imagine the audacity? Do you know where you are? I don't want to make the introduction. I want Joseph to do it himself. Since you don't know how to talk to someone, kindly take your leave. Because my husband is sleeping and I don't want to wake him. <laughs> your husband, huh? I guess he has not told you yet. Get out of my house. Monica, how dare you disrespect my visitor like that? Good evening, baby. Welcome, my love. Why didn't you tell me to come pick you up? I didn't want you to stress yourself. Wait, did I hear correctly? Did she just call you baby? Babe, I thought you promised to tell her before I get here. I'm sorry, honey. I wanted you to get here first. Can someone tell me what exactly is going on here? Monica, meet my new wife, Martha. Martha, meet Monica, my first wife. What? It is nice to finally meet you. I must confess, our husband is an amazing man. Oh no, don't flatter me. You know I love you. Now keep on being amazing for you. I know, right? I am really tired. I already took the most out of me. Don't worry, dear. You have all the rest you need. Thank you, my love. I hope you are resting with me too. Of course. I will not leave your side. After all, you are my wife. Okay, dear. Please show me to my room. Follow me.
that alpha i saw your text message what happened i had to leave what i was doing to rush down here it is what it is my brother my warehouse is what millions of naira are gone chai this is the worst news ever this is hard to believe it is what it is i don't even know what to feel anymore i'm so sorry about that my brother please take out you rise again the worst part is that i'm left with nothing it is just as if the fire knew the exact period to enter. Is this aware of this? If she is, then I guess she will be on the run now. She is aware of it and she is strongly behind me. She is the reason why I am still strong. Child, take out my brother. I am glad she understands. How is your own business going? Everything is not going really well, but I still thank God anyway. Hmm. I wish to be in your position right now. Relax, bro. This is just a temptation. You will rise again very soon. Amen. That means your wedding is paused till further notice. God forbid. How can you say that? I might not have money now, but I believe things will fall into right places very soon. I love your faith, bro. Keep it up and it will work out. Can you please borrow me 5,000 Naira? I want to use it and start a little business for myself. I promise to pay back soon. Chai, I would love to help, but I'm broke at the moment. I use my last card to stop my shop. But when do you think you will have it? I don't think I will have it anytime soon. <clears throat> and you are my last hope. I don't know who to turn to. Why not ask you, sir? Maybe she will have it. I can't do that. I sold my car already. So I just need a little money to add to it. Sorry, I don't have. Babe, sorry. I missed your call. Sorry, I was in the kitchen when you called. It's okay. What were you cooking? I was baking. You called me more than five times. I thought it was something serious. <laughs> oh my good sis. What is it? Why are you crying? This is so painful. I don't even know how to say this. Please talk to me. I have never seen you cry. So this must be a serious matter. I don't know what to do, Jane. My husband married another wife. What? Why? Please help me. I don't want to lose my husband. What should I do? Why would Joseph do such a thing? Did you both fight? I told you we rarely fight. We don't argue much and we settle our differences almost immediately. So what would prompt a loving and caring Joseph to marry another wife? You know now, he needs a child. Oh my god. I didn't know it will come to this. Same here. I didn't know my husband would marry another wife. Jai, this is not good at all. Maybe you should go and beg him to reconsider. I begged him already, but it seems he has made up his mind. Chai, I am really sorry to hear this. So what do you intend to do now? I don't know. That is why I came here to see you. Will you divorce him? God forbid. I will never leave my husband for another woman. That is not the point. The point is, does your husband want you? So what do you advise I do? But please don't advise me to leave him. Hmm. I don't know what kind of advice to give to you because I warned you about this decision. I didn't know it to turn out like this. All I can say is sorry for the way it turned out. Monica or whatever you call yourself, how dare you? Excuse me, are you talking to me? Why did you take out my phone from where I kept it? What is really your problem? You want to know what my problem is? Maybe it can be of help to you so you can let out some things from your chest. That kitchen you see there is my kitchen. Take permission from me whenever you want to use it. Are you alright? I should take permission from you as what? As the owner of the kitchen. You must be dreaming. This is my husband's house, so the kitchen is my kitchen. This is also my husband's house and I was here before you, so that kitchen is rightfully mine. You don't know me, oh. I bet you wouldn't like to see me angry. Who the hell do you think you are? Ask Joseph about me, then you can come back for us to talk. You should know too well not to annoy me as it stands now. I'm my husband's favorite. And what makes you his favorite? Because he just married you? Because I have what you do not have. Excuse me, are you trying to insult me? Madam, nobody is trying to insult you. The harsh truth is that I am pregnant for my husband. What, what, what did you just say? Yes, you heard me right. I am pregnant for him. And guess what? Once I deliver my first child to him, you will be kicked out of this house. No, no, you can't be pregnant for him. <laughs> you want to cry? Tough girl in the mood. Sorry, my darling. I'm already pregnant for him. How many months gone? Just two weeks gone. So enjoy the house while it lasts. For how long were you seeing my husband when he didn't marry you? 
that is none of your business but if you really want to know then go ask him <laughs> you can't be pregnant for him please well i came to warn you to stay clear from my stuffs in the kitchen Bill. Excuse me, who are you and how can I help you? Wait, I think I know you. You again? What are you doing in my house? So it's true. What is true? That all this while Queen and I are engaged. She was in a relationship with you. Me? Man, if you don't have anything reasonable you came here to say, then leave. You should know too well not to raise your voice at me. I will deal with you in this house and nobody will do anything about it. Look at this guy who. You came to my house to threaten me. I just gave you a piece of my mind. I want us to talk like adults. My question is, what are you doing in my house? I came to warn you to stay away from my fiancé. Your fiancé? Who is your fiancé? Because it is definitely not Queen. You just called the right name. Queen and I are still engaged. My brother, just go home and have some rest. You look stressed. You think I'm joking about what I said? I don't care. I know your type. You feel you can leave her anytime you like and go back anytime you like. Just because she loves you. I'm glad you know she still loves me. It is not in my blood to do this, to fight because of a woman. But you see, Queen, I don't mind fighting you for her. Are you challenging me? I am not challenging you. I am telling you what will happen if you don't back out. I will not back out. Queen loves me and we are still together. Why not ask her where she spent the night yesterday? What did you just say? You heard me. Queen and I are still in a relationship. She loves me. How dare you? She wants to marry you because of your money. I'm telling you this because you are a man like me. Get out of my house. Leave my fiancé alone. I won't repeat myself. And what makes her your fiancé? She still has my engagement ring and we are still seeing each other. Leave my house. Leave her alone for your own good. Baby, you've not been picking my calls. Why? Welcome, baby. I am sorry I didn't pick up when you called. I was just angry. I didn't want to pass the aggression to you. Is it a problem from work? Hmm, don't worry about that. I can undo it. Come on, my love. We will be married soon. So you should start to share your problems with me now. You told me you don't have any other man apart from me. And I still say that I don't have any other man apart from you. Why are you asking? How would you feel if you find out that I engaged another woman while still being with you? I would feel very bad. Good. Now, I want you to know how I feel right now, even though I know you are innocent. What are you talking about? Your ex fiancé came to my house today. Emerson came here? Yes, and he said all sorts of things. He said you spent the night at his place yesterday. That is a lie. I was at home all through yesterday. I didn't go anywhere. I believe you, my love. At first, I was angry. After all, it was your fiancé before. But I came to realize that he just wants to tear us apart and you are innocent. Thank you. I am totally innocent. Although he has been on my neck to take him back. So why didn't you tell me? I would have known how to reply him when he came. Babe, he's not worth your time. You should have easily called the security on him. I wanted to hear the rubbish he had to say. I am sorry for even thinking it was the truth. It's okay. I would have done the same thing if I was in your shoes. So how far with the preparations? It's going pretty well. Not too much to plan since it's a court wedding. I told you to let a wedding planner do that for you, but you insisted on doing it. I am not complaining, my love. Just be prepared for that day. Have you had something to eat? I cooked. I am still full. Thank you, dear. Let me go get myself a drink. Okay. Do you need some? Yes, please. Okay, dear. Hmm. So it has gotten to this point. I was the one he used to take out. Now Mata is the one going out with him. I feel so horrible. I can't believe I lost my husband to another woman. What is really my offense? Just because I want to stay beautiful for him? Hmm. Don't be selfish, Monica. Mata deserves to be loved. She cleans the house, washes the dishes, cooks for him and still looks beautiful. And now, <laughs> she is carrying his child. I wish I had done all those things before her. Maybe my husband wouldn't have a reason to leave me. I feel so terrible. I once had a happy home, but now Joseph only spends time with her. I guess it's time I throw those drugs away and be a real woman.
Welcome, dear. What took you so long? I waited for you since morning. I'm really sorry I got delayed at the office. I just finished my work, so I had to rush down here. Who is this man with you? Oh, I almost forgot I came with someone. Good evening to you. Good evening. Who are you? And how can I help you? I don't know what is wrong with old man of today. I saw him on my way coming here. He followed me right from my house to this place. And you brought him to my house? I told him I am engaged, but he kept on following me just to get my number. So I brought him here for you to deal with him. Oga, what is really your problem? Didn't she tell you she has a fiancé? She is really beautiful. I can't just take my eyes off her. Are you deaf? Didn't you hear when she said she is engaged? I wonder. Let the lady excuse us. I have something to discuss with you. Oga, I don't know you from anywhere. And there's nothing for us to discuss. So get out of my house. Believe me, I have an offer for you. What kind of offer is that? You will find out soon. Let her excuse us for now. Let him say whatever he wants to say here. Yeah. I'm not going anywhere. Baby, don't worry. Just go. I will tell you whatever we discuss here. Okay. Just be careful with men like this. I will. Okay. So now, it is just the both of us. What kind of offer do you have for me? I have to say this once again. Your fiancé is very beautiful. Go straight to the point. Yes, I will chase you out of my house. I am Senator Lawrence. I just came back from overseas because of a party that will be held here in Nigeria. And so? You know how it is. Parties are boring without ladies. What are you trying to say? Wait, it better not be what I think. I need your fiancé just for a night. I promise to pay you two million naira. Are you out of your mind? Does she look like a prostitute to you? No, she doesn't. That is why I decided to come see you personally. Leave my house. My fiancé is not for sale. I am not buying her. I need her just for a night. And I will travel back the next day. And you will never see this face again. With due respect, sir, my answer is a big no. I will increase it to 5 million naira. Get out of my house with your money. I don't need it. I love my fiance. Not even money is enough to buy that we share. I will increase it to 7 million. Are you deaf? I said I don't need it. 10 million and that is the least I can go. I will spend just a night with her. And you will never see me again. I, I, I don't know. My number is written on the, on that card. Call me when you make your mind. <laughs> Oh, welcome, honey. Where's my wife? She, 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 she is inside. I'm just wondering why you are stammering. So, Joseph, it has gotten to a point where you disrespect me this way. And it has gotten to a point where you now report me to people, Abby? I didn't report you to people. I only told Bill. What right do you have to go to Bill's house to discuss me? I am really sorry. I was not discussing you. I reported to him so he could talk to you on my behalf. So now that he has spoken to me, what next? Joseph, I love you. And you said you loved me too. And so? I love you is not a new word. So stop deceiving yourself. I will change, please. Stop hurting me this way. Yes, I made a mistake in the past. But now I am trying my best to change. Your change is too late, Monica. I don't need it anymore. My beautiful wife has taken over your position and there's nothing you can do. What do I have to do for you to have a change of heart, please? Nothing. Your time has passed. Or does it look like Mata cannot do anything? Can you please not always include her name in every of our conversation? I can't. She will soon make me a real man. I guess you don't know how important that is to me. Now I understand. Let's give it a try. I believe our own baby will come. I don't have such time with you anymore. Now excuse me, I want to go meet the mother of my unborn child. Joseph, please be with me. I miss you so much. Just stay with me for today, please. What is really your problem? I told you I can't be with you, 
Martha needs my attention more because she's pregnant. So when will you have my time? I don't know. As long as Martha is still pregnant, then my attention is with her. Good evening, dear. Bill? What are you doing here? I am no longer welcomed in your house. You are? I am just really surprised to see you here. You came here just once. Is that why you won't offer me a seat? <laughs> oh, come on. I'm just so happy to see you here. Please have a seat. Thank you, dear. I didn't want to call before coming. I just wanted to surprise you. And I am indeed surprised. How are you doing? You didn't go to work today. Have you forgotten I am on a break because of our upcoming wedding? Oh, I forgot. And the wedding is very close. But I am afraid that the wedding will not hold. Why would you say a thing like that? How will the wedding hold when you are still engaged to another man? What are you talking about, Bill? I am not engaged to anybody apart from you. Oh, yes, you are. Is this still about Emerson? I told you to forget about that guy. How will I forget about him when he has threatened to cause problems for us on our wedding day? It's just an empty threat. Emerson cannot do anything. He is just making noise. Why are you still with his ring? His ring? I thought I returned the engagement ring. No, you didn't. In fact, that is the reason for all the fuse. Oh, it skips my mind. But I no longer wear it. In fact, I can't even remember where it is. You have to look for it, Queen. I will not put you in harm's way. If his ring is the reason why he wouldn't let you be, then look for it and return it. Hmm. It's okay, my love. Don't let him spoil your day for you. Just return the ring, please, so he could just get off your back. I've heard you. Have you had anything to eat? Just leave me alone, Jerry. I am not hungry. Oh, yeah, sorry now. I promise you return it as soon as I can. Don't let him spoil your mood. I can't eat here. Go and change up. Let me take you out. Okay, baby. I'll be back in a jiffy. Good afternoon, my beautiful wives. How are you both doing? I'm very fine, my love. It's only when you are by my side. Monica, won't you answer my greetings? Good afternoon to you too. Mata, I know you should be resting now, but don't worry. I'll be fast with what I want to say. It's okay, dear. It doesn't matter, as long as I am here with you. Joseph, please, try and be a little bit snappy. I was busy in the kitchen when you called. Thank God you were busy in the kitchen. I thought you were busy at the shopping mall. I don't mind that's funny. <laughs> you are so funny. Monica, I called you here to inform you that I'll be rejoining all my money from the joint account. I'll no longer be sharing that account with you. What? Why? I've opened a new joint account for Monica and I. But you can still open another joint account with her while this one still remains with us. How dare you question our husband's decision? How dare you refer to him as our... When did you come to this house and you're already parading as the madam of the house? So that is your problem, huh? You haven't seen anything yet. Once I'm done giving birth to my son, you will see Pepe. Mata or whatever your name is, don't provoke me. And if I do, what will you do? I will beat that nonsense out of you. Monica, don't talk to my wife like that. Don't you know she's pregnant? Treat her with love and care. The same way she's treating me with love and care? This is because she needs it more than you. I don't think this is ordinary. I am very sure this girl has charmed you. Baby, if you are done with what you came to say, let's go inside. She does not watch your thigh. Monica, I hope you heard everything I said. There will be nothing in the joint account anymore. So how will I survive? Let me know when you need money. Or you go to Mata, she will give you what you need. Jesse, what kind of insult is that? How can I go and beg her for money? If you don't know how to... Then you have to learn. You will no longer have the privilege of spending five million at a go. Learn to spend wisely. <laughs> what are don't plenty pass, Gary? Auntie Jane. Auntie Linda, I am glad you finally remembered me. Can I sit? Why would you ask me such a question? 
Is this your first time of coming to my house? I don't know if I am still welcomed here or not. Sit down, Jerry. You will tell me if there was a time you were never welcomed here. Thank you. It was just as if you forgot about me. I should be the one to say that. It was as if I committed a crime by giving you a job. I am really sorry if you feel that way. I didn't know that my actions would result to us not talking for a while. Were you expecting me to come talk to you after your last conversation? At least I was expecting you to come talk to me since you are my aunt. You should be joking. And you think I have forgotten what we did? I am not expecting you to forget it even in the next 10 years, unless it's not you. It is good you know me. I am very sure you know what to do to make me forget about it. I actually thought about apologizing to her, but I don't just have the courage to. I feel a little bit ashamed. You are not ashamed when you confess your feeling for her husband. Can you help me beg her? When she is calm, I can go there myself. Was I the one that helped you talk to her husband? The way you spoke to her husband, use that same way to talk to her. Auntie Jane, don't be wicked now. It is me, oh. Linda, your niece. Linda, I cannot help you out on this one. Sort it out yourself. <sighs> okay then, I will go see her tomorrow. Actually, this is not the right time. She is trying to sort out some family issues. I haven't even able to go there myself. Family issues? What kind of family issues? Is she pregnant? What is that supposed to mean? I don't mean anything bad. I just wish the only family issues she should solve now is how to nurture a baby. Well done, Madam Talkative. Let me get you something to drink. Hello, good evening, Mom. My dear, how are you doing? I am not happy with you at all. What is the problem, Ma? Since I left Nigeria, it is today you are calling to check on me. Oh, I am really sorry, Mom. I didn't have this particular number of yours. I just took it out from my husband's phone. Okay, how are you doing? I miss you and yourself. I miss you too, Mom. When are you coming back? I won't be coming back anytime soon. The only thing that will bring me back to Nigeria is to come take care of you after delivery. <laughs> Mom, you're using style to tell me I don't have a child yet, Abby. <laughs> you know now, I hope you're taking very good care of Joseph. I am trying. You have to try. You know you are now his second mother. Yes, Mom, I know. I am taking good care of him. In fact, when you come back, you will see the evidence. Good. This one you're calling me Mommy. I hope everything is okay. <laughs> but you told me to stop calling you Mama, especially now that you left Nigeria. Good guess. Stop making it sound like I am too old because I am not. Yes, ma. Um, mom, did Joseph tell you anything? Something like what? Something like him planning to get a second wife. Joseph took a second wife? No, not at all. I am just asking to know. No, he didn't tell me anything. In fact, it's been a while I heard from him. Okay, mom. If he decides to take a second wife, you let me know. I will come down to Nigeria and deal with him myself. Okay, mommy. I have to go now. Okay. My regards to him. Okay. Hi. You now greet me with just a hi. I'm really surprised that you are at home. Where were you expecting me to be? You can see it if you want. It is not going to be like this, Abby. Risa, please don't stress me. As you can see, I am not happy. How could you disappoint me this way? You should have at least let me know if you don't want to come to her wedding. Of what use is her wedding to me? Will it give me the amount I need for my business? That is not fair, Emma. She came here to invite you to her wedding herself. I was not just in the mood to attend any wedding. I called you so many times, but you refused to pick my calls. Can you stop making it a big deal? After all, the wedding is over. Yes, the wedding is over, but she was not happy about your absence. After all, you are my fiancé. Let us not talk about Queen. Now she is married, and you are the only one left. Seriously, I'm not happy about what you did. You should have just given an excuse why you couldn't attend the wedding. It seems you don't want me to sit here. I will just stand up and leave you. Why this attitude, Emma? Stop acting as if you don't know what I want. If you truly love me, as you claim, then you would do everything in your power to see me succeed. Of course, I want you to succeed, but not that way. I want you to succeed in a good way. Show me the good way. The only way I can see now, the way in front of us. I cannot do it. 
Have you thought about my safety? What if that man is a ritualist? He is not. That man is very harmless. How do you know? Have you met him before? No, but he looks innocent. I am very sure he will not harm you. Just get these thoughts out of your head, Emmanuel. I cannot do it. Simple. Okay, that's better. Oh my god. Monica, what a surprise. You didn't tell me you would be coming over. Why would I do that when your house is just a stone throw from where I went for a wedding ceremony? Who got married? Is it someone I know? No, not at all. My husband's friend got married today. Wow. And his bride is so friendly. I didn't even feel like going. Before I remembered, I was supposed to visit you today. I have been seeing so much, my friend. I couldn't come to your house because of the whole issue you told me about. I am glad you didn't because I would never tolerate her insult towards you. How are you? How has it been in that house? My dear, it has not been easy. Oh. I cry every day and night. It is just as if my husband has been charmed. Hmm. I am so shocked as well. The Joseph I know would never do this to you. Hmm. I am just trying my best to be a better wife to him. I am positive I have not lost my husband completely. I am positive about that too. Don't worry. Everything will soon be fine. Thank you, dear. How have you been? You're still working there? I am fine. Yes, I am still working there. I guess your offer for me working in your husband's company has been closed. He would just dismiss me immediately I laid a request to him. Just be strong. This is a trying period. You will get through it. Thank you. Let's go out and have some fun, at least to get your mind off some things. No, I no longer go out for clubbing. In fact, I don't even have money. Ah, Monica, you of all people. Oh, yeah, now let's go for shopping. Meals on me. Shopping has to wait first. I want to be a better wife to my husband. But going for shopping and taking care of yourself does not make you a bad wife. No, it doesn't. I will start going for shopping when my home is in order. Hmm. Okay, oh. let me get you something to drink. Good afternoon, honey. Please, can I have a word with you? I don't understand. Can't you see he's having a good time with me? How many times do I have to tell you to always shut up whenever I talk to my husband? And have you forgotten he's also my husband? Just leave us alone. What is really your problem in this house? Haven't I tried enough to avoid you? Avoid who? Can you avoid me? <laughs> Joseph, I want to have a word with you. It is urgent. Joseph is not going anywhere. We were having a discussion before you came. You both should stop this silly argument. What exactly is wrong with both of you? Talk to the madam of the house and warn her to stay on her lane. Forget the fact that Joseph decided to stoop so low for someone like you. I am not your mate and I deserve some respect. <laughs> you are not my mate, but I have done something you cannot do. Joseph, I am still waiting for you. I want to have a word with you. Joseph, you are not going anywhere. We were talking before she came. What kind of problem is this now? Can someone have peace of mind in this house? You brought this upon yourself. You know we had peace before she came. You are our problem in this house. Whenever you come, problem will start. I am just holding myself from giving you a serious slap. Don't try me. Baby, are you listening to her? She wants to slap me and injure our baby just because she doesn't have any. Monica, respect yourself. Don't do anything to hurt her and the baby. Is that all you can say? She has been insulting me since, but you didn't say a word. Can we all live in this house peacefully? I am not a problem here, and you know that. I hope you're not indirectly talking about me. Joseph, I am still waiting. Joseph, don't move an inch. Since you both do not let me have peace in this house, you can keep the house to yourselves. Oh, baby, you kept me on so much suspense. Sorry I delayed. I had a hard time deciding what to do. I hope your visit now is a positive one because I have waited patiently for you. Hmm. And what if it is not a positive response? Don't say that. You know I will not be happy. You will run my mood for the rest of the year. Hmm, Ima, I will still ask again. I hope you know what you are asking me to do. Trust me, my love. I will not bring you to harm's way. I love you and I will always protect you. So this is your own way of protecting me? 
Whatever decision I take is for our own good. With the 10 million naira, we will proceed with our wedding immediately. So now you are using the wedding to cover up your greed. This is not greed. This is me trying to do what is best for us. I see. This is the best you can come up with. Risa, stop this. I thought you came here to tell me what you have decided. Well, I came to tell you that I have agreed to spend the night with him. You have agreed? Oh, thank you so much, my love. You don't know what this means to me. So after that night, what's next? He will transfer our money to us. I will use part of it to start up my business. Then use part for our wedding. And what about the man? Won't he come back and demand for more? If he comes back for more, that means more money. Are you serious? Yes, baby. With 10 million naira, a lot of things will be settled. Ima, I didn't expect you to be this greedy. I'm scared for my life. I have assured you that nothing will happen to you. You will be in safe hands. So did you call him since then? No, but I will call him as soon as you leave. I don't spread the party shouldn't be finished. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Madam, it's today you know you visit me after so many days. Sorry, Joe. I wanted to give you and your husband some time to finish your honeymoon. Which honeymoon? We haven't even gone on any honeymoon. Why now? Is there no money? Eh? Don't even talk about money. Money is not the problem here. His job is the problem. So don't they know he just got married for them to give him a break? They do. They gave him two weeks break. Only for them to call him to resume work that it was urgent. They promised to let him continue his two weeks break as soon as possible. They better give him break. I don't know why he's wrong with all these people, Seth. Don't mind them. So what's up with you? Is the man still talking about that nonsense offer with you? Hmm, my sister, I am about to make the worst mistake of my life. Don't tell me you agree to it. Do I have a choice? I don't want to lose my man. If being with that man for one night will make my relationship go back to normal, then I will do it. You do what? Are you out of your mind, Risa? Hmm. You won't know how it feels when like because you are not in my shoe. What nonsense shoes are you talking about? If Ima truly loves you like he claims, then he wouldn't even give it a thought to give you to another man, even if it is for an hour. You are right. But what would you have me to do? Lose him out for all because of a night. I'm so disappointed in you for saying a thing like that. This is not the reason I used to know. Love happened to me, and I have made up my mind to do it. I pity you, my girl. You want to sell yourself out just because of a greedy man. Let's not talk about it anymore. I would advise you to focus on your marriage and leave my relationship alone. Did you just say that to me? You heard me, Queen. Leave my relationship alone. Focus on yours. Sorry, oh, madam. I won't talk about it again. Better. Oh, my love, you are fond of keeping time. Then you don't meet him. Good evening. I hope you are fine. Yes, I am fine. I guess you remember this man sitting here. Yes, I do. My proposed clients. Good evening, sir. Good evening, my beautiful damsel. You are beautiful as usual. Thank you, sir. Mr. Lawrence, I hope you like what you see. I like absolutely everything. I have good taste and I make good choices. That is nice to hear. So can we go now? What about the money? Are you not going to pay us first? I paid your fiance yesterday. You paid him? The complete 10 naira? Yes. Emma, why didn't you tell me he paid you already? Sorry, dear. It skipped my mind. That is not a big deal. I'll give you something from it when you come back. You collected the money without letting me know, and you are telling me it skipped your mind. Are you seriously going to make this an issue? This man is waiting for you. Please, we have to go. I don't have much time again. I am scared. I have told you times with that number. Not to be scared. This man is harmless. Yes, I am harmless. I won't do anything to you. Thank God you heard it from the horse's mouth. What time will I be back tomorrow morning? Not so easy. At least you will have breakfast with me first. Babe, relax. Nothing will happen. Mr. Lawrence here is a good man. My dear, let us go. Enough of the too much talk. Take care of yourself, my love. I will call you tomorrow morning. Take care of yourself too.
sweetheart. I'm sorry for coming now. What took you so long now? I almost gave up about you coming. I'm sorry, my dear friend. I saw your husband on my way coming. Yes, he just left for work. What about your co-wife? Is she at home? She is not my co-wife and can never be. I am the only wife of Joseph. Oh, sorry for my outburst. Is she home? I don't know and I don't care. Should we go to the hospital now? What exactly did you say is the problem? Just headache and you want to go to the hospital? The headache has been persistent with fever. Let me just go so they could give me the right drugs to take. We can easily enter into one of these big pharmacies and get some drugs. Ah, no. I don't trust most of these pharmacies. They will just give you drugs according to what you tell them and not because they know what is wrong with you. You are right, Sha, but I feel tired. I want to have some little rest. You can rest when you get back. I need those medications. Relax, Jare. Get me something to eat first. Didn't you eat in your house before coming? Why would I eat in my house before coming to a millionaire's house? Millionaire, okay. My dear, I am no longer a millionaire. My husband cleared all the money in our joint account. Oh, why now? How does he want you to survive? He gives me 50,000 naira allowance every week. Ah, that is even better. It is not better for someone like me that used to spend millions of naira. At least you are not entirely broke. You still have something in your accounts, unlike me, that has to hustle. That is not the issue now. In fact, I don't even need the money. All I want now is my husband. Don't worry. Whatever she gave to Jim will clear up very soon. I may know. Or I'll go and bring my food. I promise you that when we come back from the hospital, I will give you whatever you want. Okay, dear. Let's go. Baby, you have been sitting here all day. Is everything okay? Don't worry about me, dear. How was work today? Of course. I have to be worried about you. You are my wife and under my care. I'm just worried about my friend. She's about to take a serious risk. Who? Risa? Yes. That is the only friend I have. Do you mind telling me what kind of risk it is? I'm sorry, dear, I can't. It is between the two of us. It's our little secret. It's okay, dear. You don't have to get worked up because of anything. I am sure before she took the risk, she knows what is involved. I just pray she's fine wherever she is. She's an adult and can take care of it herself. Are you hungry? I can't be hungry when you are in such a mood. Come on. It is just a worried look and not something serious. I know. I don't want to ever see you get worried. Yes, sir. Now tell me where you would like us to go for our honeymoon. Um, I don't know yet. Can we at least wait until I'm sure she's okay? There's no problem about that. Everything is in your hands. We can go on a honeymoon anytime, even after having children. Exactly. Um, baby. He mustn't send his regards to you. Emerson, you still meet with him? Not like I went to his house, but he came here. Emerson came to my house again? What nonsense is that? And you are just telling me. Why didn't you call me when he came? Calm down, my love. Please sit down. It's not that serious. I told you I don't want to see his foot in our house after we are married. He didn't come to cause trouble. He only came to apologize, that's all. His apology is not needed. He should just stay away from us. It's okay, honey. I told him, and I'm sure he won't show his face again. Excuse me for walking in on both of you. Get out. We are having a serious conversation. Why do you like walking in on us whenever you see us together? I am not here to cause any trouble. I just want to make an announcement. What kind of announcement is that that cannot wait? A very important announcement. Joseph, I just need your attention. I am just coming back from the hospital. And so, we should fly. Mata, let her finish. Go ahead, Monica. Thank you. The test result shows that I am three weeks pregnant. What? Wait. Rewind what you just said. I said I am pregnant. This must be a joke. Why should it be a joke? Are you not man enough to impregnate me? I don't mean that. I mean, you were still taking your drugs, weren't you? No, I threw them away one week after she came, and now I am pregnant for you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. What would I have done without you? Are you happy to hear the news? 
my love, this is the best news I've heard so far. I can't remember the last time I was this happy. This is what you've always wanted. Thank you very much for changing your mind about taking the drugs. Congratulations, Monica. I am happy for you. <laughs> you are happy for me. I know deep down you are grieving. I am so happy. I can't wait to tell my mom the good news. She won't hesitate to come back. <laughs> I can't wait to tell her too. That has always been her prayer. Where would you like me to take you to? Just see it and I'll grant it. Hey, relax. I just told you the news. Let me go in and have some rest. Please do. I'll join you later. Okay, baby. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Finally, I'll be a father. So what do we do now? Should we proceed? No, not yet. I have to verify she's truly pregnant. Okay. Sweetheart, is everything okay? Why are you back so early? Good morning, Mr. Emmanuel. Mr. Man, I thought you said you won't show your face after the night. Emma, I am very disappointed in you. I never knew you were this greedy. What is all this now? I thought we talked about this before. It is a thing of shock to me that you would choose money over me. Baby, let's not do this here, especially in the presence of this man. We have to do it here because he is my father. What? Yes, he is my father, my biological father. Go, go. Good morning, sir. It would be better if you keep your greetings to yourself. Risa, what is all this? Have you ever wondered why I delayed our wedding? It was because I was waiting for my father's arrival from abroad. Why didn't you tell me? Why did you have to humiliate me this way? Nobody is humiliating you. You are the one that humiliated yourself. How could you? I thought you were different from the other men. Yes, baby. I am very different from the rest of them. You can testify it yourself. Testify what? The fact that you gave me out to a man you know nothing about just because of money? Baby, please, I'm really sorry. There is nothing your police can do because the need has already been done. So all this was a test. <laughs> this is really funny. Risa, I told you that honest men are very, very scarce. Forget about caring for you and showing you love. How much are you worth to him? Can his love be bought with money? Oh, Emma, I trusted you. I thought you were different. Not too many men would pass this temptation. Some of them can even be bought with 10,000 naira. Hmm, that is very sad. I'm sorry, I didn't know it was a test. Have you ever wondered why your warehouse got burnt? I investigated how much your two warehouses were worth. I paid your workers to set fire in the two warehouses. You did what? Yes, and that is the 10 million naira I transferred to your account. Mister, please forgive me. It was the devil's handwork. I strongly believe this same thing would have happened even if you were married. No, it would never happen again. I love you, please. I am sorry I can no longer go ahead with this wedding. Risa, let's go. You can't be with such a man. Have a nice day, Emma. Good afternoon, Bill. Oh, Risa, what a surprise. You are looking beautiful as always. Thank you. You don't look bad either. Thank you. You are not off to work today as usual. No, not at all. I want to spend some time with my beautiful wife. Wow, that is amazing. Can I borrow her from you for a minute? Sure. After all, I took her from you first. <laughs> Thank you. Let me inform her you are here. Oh, sis, I was so worried about you. How are you doing? Stop being worried, dear. I'm very fine. Let's sit. How are you? How interesting is married life? Live married life first. Did you really do what you said you would do? Am I that stupid to you? Why would I do such because of a man? That's my girl. Why you told me you would do it? I was beginning to wonder where the risk I know went to. My dear, no man is worth that risk. Especially the man I am not even married to. Exactly. And in conclusion, Ima never really loved you. I think he did. He couldn't just resist the temptation of money. That is very bad. What will happen to the both of you now? But we are done. I am thinking of moving out soon. Get a new apartment and start over again. I hope you always come here to visit me. Queen, you are my most best friend. 
and we will always be best friends. Oh, I know, right? The next time I come here, I will come with my father. Is your father in town? Yes, he is. It is our plan to test Emma to see the kind of man I would be getting married to. Really? So he was the mysterious man? <laughs> yes, he is. Amen. My dad is a very good actor. I can imagine. I can't wait to meet him again. Yes, you will. Hello, mom. You this boy. You only call me when you feel like. You know how hot Nigeria is. What has the heat got to do with you not calling me often? <laughs> I don't know. That was the first thing that entered my head. I can hear the excitement in your voice. What's up? Any good news? Yes, mommy. We have a great news and all I want you to do now is to guess. If I guess now, you will say I am wicked and reminding you that you are wicked. <laughs> oh, yeah, just guess. I won't say it today. Is your wife pregnant? Because that is the only good news I want to hear. Mom, you just guessed right. Monica is pregnant. I took her to another hospital yesterday and they confirmed she is pregnant. Joseph, I don't like this kind of joke. Do you want to do me April Fool? <laughs> Why would I do that when it is not even April? So you mean Monica is pregnant for real? Yes, Mom. Oh, my son. You are a real man. I will take first flight to Nigeria tomorrow. Mom, why the rush? The pregnancy is not even up to two months yet. I am just too excited. Do you know how long I've waited to hear this news? <laughs> we are all happy, Mom. I have told my sisters and promised to come after delivery. I will come before delivery so I can take care of my daughter-in-law. Okay, Mom. <laughs> My love. Emma, what are you doing in my house? Baby, you have not been picking my calls. What crime have I committed? Didn't I make myself clear the last time I was at your house? Didn't I tell you never to call me again? Baby, why are you taking this far? Please, forgive me. I promise it won't happen again. A mistake at first is considered a mistake. But repeating that same mistake is cowardice. Are you calling me a mistake? You are a mistake to me. Ima, I wish I didn't go as far as giving you my heart. You have any heart too. You can make something work. Nothing can work. Money is more important than me. I'd rather be alone than be with a greedy man like you. Maybe I am on my feet again. So that kind of mistake will never happen again. Just leave my house. I want nothing to do with you anymore. Is that your final decision? You will never change your mind. I don't want any part of you. I don't need you anymore. You don't understand. Good men like me are hard to find. You will never see a man that would choose a woman over money. You lie. That same test was given to my father, but he passed it. If truly your love for me was genuine, it would have been very difficult for you to even think about it. I did it for you. For us. For our own good. I wanted to give you a good life. Was I complaining? I am rich, Emmanuel. I don't want to help you because I had a plan with my father. You should also apologize for what your father put me through. The emotional and physical damage. On behalf of my father, I apologize for what we did to you. I just wanted to be sure if the man I wanted to get married to. Apology accepted. Let us sit down and plan for our wedding. Since you don't want to leave, I will leave for you. Oh my god, what am I seeing here? Bill, is this you? It's been such a long time. Where have you been? I should be asking you that. So you came back and refused to come greet me? Oh, come on. You know how Joseph is. He won't let me leave the house anyhow. You are not looking bad at all. Thank you. I heard you got married. Congratulations to you. Where were you then? I was here, but I traveled for a few days. Chai, Mata, you are wicked. Me of all people, your personal person. You know how it is now? Well, I have no excuse for that. All I can say is I am sorry and will make it up to you. Apology is not accepted. Until you come visit my wife and I, then I will consider it. Yes, sir. I will do that very soon. I knew it's you. I heard your voice from the bedroom. Monica, how are you doing? I 
am very fine, thank you. I even thought of coming to see your wife this evening. Oh, she has been expecting you. She wanted to come with me, but she had some things to sort out at home. That's nice. What can I offer you? No, don't bother. I came to see Joseph. Is he at home? No, he went to work. He won't be back until evening. Oh, I have to go see him at the office then. I heard you talking to this woman. So you were aware that Joseph married a new wife, but you hid it from me. What are you talking about? Where is the new wife? I am talking about this woman right here. This is not Joseph's new wife. This is his cousin, Mata. Yes, Monica. Joseph is my cousin. What? Chai, what have I done to myself? I can't believe I have lost such a good woman like Risa. But what would I have done in my position? I was really in need of money. I am sure anybody in my position would have done the same thing. What would I have done when my business crashed? I sold literally every valuable I had, yet open of some of 10 million naira was staring in front of me. Would I have turned it down for the sake of love? I guess that was the right thing to do after all. She's worth more than 10 million naira. I would have at least started with the little amount of money I had. Then Lisa would have still been by my side today. Chai, I have messed up. I just pray she forgives me and come back to me. My love, what a surprise. Is everything okay? So I can't come to my husband's office anymore? Not like that. I mean you really come here. In fact, it's been over to a year since you came here. That is because what I came here for is really important. And you wouldn't wait for me to get home? Exactly. I am so eager to hear the truth. That is why I am here. Hmm, okay. This one that truth is involved. I hope I am saved. Who is matter to you? What did she tell you? Answer my question, Joseph. It is not nice to answer a question with another question. Before you came up with this question, that means you had something. Bill stopped by today. He came to see you. Bill, my man, that was the reason why I wouldn't let him visit my house because he would surely recognize Mata. You haven't still answered my question. Who is she to you? Mata is my cousin. She traveled out of the country even before we got married, so you didn't get to meet her. Man, Brad Joseph, I am so happy to see you. Just look at you. You have grown so big. What have they been feeding you, dear? Oh, come on. I was like this even before I left. Have you gone to see your parents yet? No, not yet. I just landed. I would like to spend some time here before going to see them. You can stay in my house till you go back. No need to stay in a hotel. Thank you, brother. Sorry I couldn't attend your wedding. I had exams that day. Oh, come on. That was a very long time ago. My wife will be happy to see you. I can't wait to see her too. But Mata... I want you to do something for me. Mama said a lot of beautiful things about her. What is that, brother? You are the only person my wife doesn't know in our family. I would like you to pretend like my second wife and you are already pregnant for me. Ah, no, brother. What kind of lie is that? For how long am I supposed to pretend? Just for a few months. I promise nothing will happen. And while you are in the house, make her really jealous and make her believe she will lose me if she doesn't step up. So will she really lose you? You have no idea how much I love my wife. I will never hurt her intentionally. But I have to do this. I want her to know my worth and not to relax too much. So what about the pregnancy? So I have to buy a baby bump? No, you don't have to. We will pretend like you are just a few weeks gone. <laughs> Could you hurt me that way? I actually thought I lost you. You can never lose me. I desperately wanted you to throw away those drugs. I love you, Joseph. I love you more, my love. I promise never to hurt you again. Good morning, Auntie Monica. Oh, come on. You don't have to include Auntie in the name. No, I have to. I am really sorry for all the disrespect. I just wanted to make sure my cousin achieves his aim of making me fake it. <laughs> I can imagine. And you both really got me. <laughs> yes, we did. It really paid off because it changed completely. <laughs> you are funny. So where are you going to with your luggage? 
I have to leave. Actually, my plan was not to come and stay this long. But I just got to know you. I mean, you're part of my husband's family. So let's spend some time together. I'm really sorry, sis. I have to leave you both to enjoy your marriage. No, please don't go. I don't want to enjoy my marriage without you. If you really want us to have a good time as a family, then we have to organize a family get-together. Yes, you're right. But the problem is, most of the people in your family are outside Nigeria. Then we'll come back as soon as we invite them. Money is not the problem. I know. So when will you be back so we can plan it? I won't be able to plan it with my husband alone. I'll be back soon. Just get ready. Drop your account number for me. I will transfer 5 million naira to you. Oh, thank you very much. It's nothing. Have a safe journey and my regards to your family. Okay, sis. I don't know if this is the right time to see her, but I believe everything is settled now. If this is not the right time, I can go and come back. No, you are already here. Let's get this over. I was hearing noises in my house. I was beginning to wonder if a thief broke in. Good morning, my dear friend. Good morning, Monica. What is this girl doing in my house? I know you despise me right now, but I want you to know that I am really sorry for my actions. Yes, Monica. Please forgive and forget. She's sorry for her actions. You betrayed me, Linda. What if my husband was a loose man? What would have happened? I know I messed up. That is why I am here to ask for your forgiveness. You are here to ask for my forgiveness because your plan didn't work out. I was never in support of what she did. I know. That was why I still kept you as my friend. Please forgive her. She learned her lesson. Well, I actually forgot that she still exists, which means I also forgot what she did. In other words, you saying... I have forgiven her. I hold no grudge against her. She is free to come anytime. Thank you very much, Monica. You are such a good woman. So have you found something doing? No, not at all. I am still searching. It's okay. I will ask my husband to employ you in one of his companies. Oh, thank you very much, Ma. God bless you. Thank you, Monica. God bless you. It's nothing. I have no room for hatred. My princess, I wouldn't concentrate at work. I was worried about you. Come on, my love. The pregnancy is still very young. You have nothing to worry about. You look more beautiful while being pregnant. Oh, stop flattering me. In few months' time, I will be out of shape. And that is when you will be more beautiful. In fact, I can't wait to see you that period. I know, right? What will you be doing tomorrow afternoon? I don't know. I will just be indoor. I don't feel like going to anywhere. I will close early from work tomorrow so I can take you out for shopping. For shopping? I thought you don't want me to go for shopping anymore. I didn't say that. As long as you don't abandon what you are supposed to do, then you can go for shopping every day. <laughs> are you for real? And you want to come with me as well? Now that you are pregnant, I don't want you to carry those heavy shopping bags alone. Aww. Let me be your bodyguard for tomorrow. Just for tomorrow? No, for the rest of my life. Hmm. I couldn't have asked for a better husband than you. You are everything I need. Thank you, my love. And I promise never to hurt you again. All the money I transferred out of our joint account has been transferred back. Yes, I got the alert this morning. Mama will be here tomorrow morning. What? All this because of the pregnancy? You don't know how happy and proud you have made us. Oh, I am so lucky to be in such an amazing family. We are more lucky to have you. I love you, baby. I love you too, my husband. Thank you.